we'll get into it. We're going to get into the, the great CS2 gloating stream that I know so many of you have wanted. It will be the what about today dickhead speech on steroids. But I'll also just mention that uh, there's actually lots about breaking that story. That wasn't fun, frankly. And you'll understand why. Because for me, it wasn't a big story. I don't care. It's an update to a video game. I think like I think a story like the Danny story I did over at Deserto before I left. I think that's way more important than oh here's an update to a video game. But everybody lost their minds. Like everybody lost their minds and lost their shit on this one. It got as I'll show you. It got translated pretty much into every language on planet Earth. The headlines were always like you know it's translated into Arabic. It's translated into Mandarin, and the headlines all say Richard Lewis says on all these websites. I'm talking there was like websites with like you know. 3.5 million followers on like Twitter. Richard Lewis says it was like pretty wild. And like I was getting, I, it's the first time I've had to turn my DMs off on Twitter because I was just getting people like saying, make the game. Like loads of people were saying I worked for Valve, that I was leaking it on purpose, that I was making it up, that I'd killed the skins economy by lying. You know, it's just pick and pick a nonsensical storyline. And, and that was being DM'd to me i've never had to turn them off before not even when i was getting corral hoed by brazilian fans but so without further ado obviously this stream is brought to you by a sponsor nordvpn.com go to nordvpn.com slash rls to take advantage of savings tailor-made for our community here they did re-up we've got them for another six months which you know obviously sponsor keep retaining sponsors in this economy is a miracle so you can all give yourselves a pat on the back but if you haven't signed up to nordvpn please do with the referral code if you get the two-year package it will work out cheaper than a twitch sub if you're one of the people who pay with money and not with primes and uh, you will get the advantage of having a nord uh, of having a vpn that's super easy to use super lightweight two clicks servers in 60 different countries uh came in super handy while i was in malta i've got to say because i couldn't watch loads of stuff on amazon without turning it on so get yourselves get yourselves in there right then let's just do this is unrelated to the great cs2 gloating but i want to just have a little bit of a Let's just get a little bit of a, a primer in there, right? You may also remember one of the things I said was that, you know, the scene sucks right now. The scene is really, really bad. It's not competitive. And it would be super embarrassing if G2 didn't dominate the scene in its current state. You remember I said that, right? And uh, I believe I'm right. And more and more people are coming around to that. We've had analysts say it. We had like Maui Snake and me had a little friendly discussion about it, which is up on YouTube right now. You know, Kassad agrees with me. Thorin agrees with me. Uh, behind the scenes, coaches and players are agreeing with me. Somebody sent me a video and it was Forrest on stream saying it. Forrest, one of the greatest players to ever touch the game. So I want to just warm up to the fact that maybe occasionally I do know what I'm talking about, you know? Now, not always. I am capable of being wrong. But generally, I'm right when it comes to matters pertaining to, to esports. And so let's do this. This was an HLTV thread about that take. And it said Richard Lewis was right again. The scene is weak right now. Now, you'll notice, by the way, that G2 didn't win, did they? G2 didn't win ESL Pro League. In fact, G2 did bomb out of Pro League. They got beaten by Ents, right? And uh, no one's dominating the scene right now. Now, I was wrong about FaZe not getting the Grand Slam, although they couldn't have won it in more inauspicious circumstances had they done it basically under their beds with the lights turned out, you know. But well done, I guess. You've got the Grand Slam, history cemented. Doesn't really matter. Now it's all academic. CSGO is dead, isn't it? I mean, like, it's over. It's officially over. Loads of people as well have been taking the time to message me going, you said that CSGO was going to die in 2020. 20 and you said the competitive scene was dead and now cs2 is here and it's gonna live forever so fuck you it's like okay guys well i guess i i guess i can't win even when i'm right can i so uh you know even when i'm technically correct so anyway uh richard lewis was right he says it the scene is weak right now the top teams with the exception of g2 are losing to absolute shitters but then again who are the top teams if anyone can beat anyone somebody replies saying doesn't it mean the opposite if anyone can lose to anyone doesn't that mean the scene is strong 
Well, no, because a high floor and a low ceiling are not mutually exclusive things. But unfortunately, as we're going to get to, you use HLTV and therefore there seems to be something in the requirements of when you sign up to become an HLTV forum user that if you actually have above 90 IQ, they just lock you out of your account and you're not allowed to use it. It's obviously some type of government experiment where only the lowest of the lowest IQ are forced to mingle and express, express opinions together. I don't know for what fucking purpose, but basically, as we'll establish when we get to the CS2 story, yet I don't think there's a bigger collection of morons assembled on planet Earth, frankly. Uh, it used to be quaint when it was just people talking about, is there afterlife? I think so, because one time I saw a star and it looked like it blinked at me. Maybe it was God, you know. Great, like, topics like that were fine, but now you're wading into talking about things that you can't possibly comprehend you know like competitive levels and journalism and stuff like this it, you know it, it's bad anyway richard lewis was right okay there's a huge debate about it then just four days later by the way somebody else waded in and remember to say that richard lewis is right on hltv it's bold it's brave it's not a popular opinion there it was. Rich, Richard Lewis was right. So even though I was right again four days prior, I'm right, 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 in the most righteous way. Uh, after watching all the groups of EPL, I agree with him. The reason G2 is top one, because the other teams are so bad. If Eternal uh, Fire hadn't made a big mistake, they would have easily won the map against G2. Teams like Astralis Liquid are ridiculous. I don't even want to talk about EG. Navi is also very bad. Now that I think about it, CS Pro Scene is very bad right now. Yes, it absolutely is, my friend. It absolutely is. And I can explicitly tell you why that's the case. It's because... You have all of these pseudo-franchise leagues where you just turn up and all you have to do is meet your contractual obligation. You can't get kicked out for being bad, e.g. prove that. It doesn't really matter if you win. None of it matters. It's all just content. It's just like, you know, think about how Pro League is structured. Meaningless game after meaningless game. Low stakes after low stakes after low stakes for eight to nine to ten weeks. Stretched out like Stretch Armstrong's foreskin. Unbelievably thin and long. And it's meaningless. It doesn't mean anything. So how can you possibly be good in this fucking environment? You can't be good in this environment, can you? None of it matters. What's the point? Everyone's using stand-ins because all that matters is the contractual obligation. That's it. Do you think maybe that lowers the competitive level ever so fucking slightly? By the way, does is anyone even like... I, I didn't even know Blast was happening. I've like, been watching it uh, yesterday and today. And I was like, wow, Blast is really this close to pro. I suppose it has to be. It's got to take the gaps it can. And I'm watching NIP wretchedly perform against Cloud9. Who nearly lost to some Estonians. What a waste of time. OG, like, okay, we haven't got Dexter. Doesn't matter. We'll bring in Smooya. I like Smooya. I don't even think he's the worst replacement you could get, but... Does anyone, does anyone care about any of it? Clearly they don't. The teams don't. And that's not good. It's not good when people just want to meet contractual obligations, pocket their salary and not compete. So I definitely was right. I am right. I remain right. Nothing's changed. The level of games in Pro League were shocking. So this is just to prime the pump. Just to let you know that, yeah, he's right. He, he's capable of being right, this guy. I'm going to take you back in time. Way back in time. March the 5th. After creative differences with Deserto and the direction I wanted to sort of go into and the types of stories I wanted to tackle and the ba and what their business needs are, I basically said to them, like, you know what? It's all right. I'll roll the dice. Even though I'm old, even though I'm washed, I'll, I'll have a go at going solo. I think my community will embrace me and support me, and I think I am experienced enough to have the right level of editorial oversight on my own work so fuck it i'm out and so you know bailed just coincidentally a lot of people said oh richard lewis is just doing he's just making it up because he's got a substack now and he wants to promote his substack just coincidentally and only because i was looking at something so 
this thing here, but you see, this Gabe Follower 2 story, when I saw the NVIDIA drivers had been added for CSGO S2 and CS2, I thought, fuck it, I'll start poking around the edges. There's probably something to that. And funnily enough, I just so happened to poke around in the right area and poke around the right edges. And I ended up fucking basically getting the story falling in my lap. That, yes, CS2 was real and it was about to be launched. It was going to launch this month, essentially. So I was like, well, fuck it. What do I do here? Because this is one of those stories where everyone has been... You know, cockteased. <laughs> Everyone's just been edged for so long about whether or not this story's going to happen. People aren't going to fucking believe it. They're not going to take it the, the right way. And also, and I, you know, I was thinking, all of the people... There's been a cottage industry in saying Source 2 is coming for fucking five years just oh, and I, we'll get to them all the clout seeking goblins and i don't think gabe follower or aquarius i think data mining is a useful skill to have i think it's like something that can augment other types of journalism i think it throws up loads of interesting stuff so it's not those guys it's the other guys it's the guys that aren't data mining it's the guys that are literally making up stories it's the guys like fucking tyler mcvicker who just they don't have any sort sources anymore and they still try and convince you that they do and they don't and they're just taking guesses uh, it's those guys those guys are fucking terrible and i knew what they were gonna do they were gonna go oh, no 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 richard can't possibly have what we you know our entire livelihood if it if it arrives in a month what will we do after it well it turns out those dickheads of course are still gonna milk it forever right like now they get to milk its arrival and all of the changes so anyway i thought fuck it you know one of the things with covering stories one of the things with journalism is you have to test yourself and it's like in in the moment you know like okay is my sourcing good yes do i have multiple sources yes do you trust your sources have they ever let you down before if you've used them before no well, 99 times out of 100, 100 times out of 100, you'd run this story. Why are you hesitating? Well, because I'm scared, because I'm nervous, because if I get this one wrong, everyone's going to call me a cunt. Well, that's no reason not to publish a story, Richard. Nut the fuck up and hit publish. So it was one of them. And, I, you know, at the end of the day, that's my constant test in my brain. That's the standard I hold myself to. Like, you've got to take risks to do big stories, and if you genuinely doubt the story, you can't publish it. If you're just scared or trepidatious about it, then that's you. You're being a coward and you need to grow a fucking set of balls, check your spine for its integrity, and hit publish and get it out there. So I did. And you can read this. You can read what I published here. It basically gives a summary. It points out the um, game follower thing. Then speaking under the condition of anonymity, sources with a knowledge of the game's development told us that indeed there was a new version of Counter Strike Global Offensive on its way, and that it had been worked on for some time. I mean, this is obviously true. Now we know this. The new version is almost certainly set to be released under the working title Counter Strike Two. By the way, I was the only fucking guy that knew that. I was the only guy that called that that was such a fucking sticking point for so many people why would it be counter strike 2 why do, i'm not valve i don't fucking know but it was and the tentative release date for the beta is in this month of march with april 1st at the outside now <laughs> even though that was explicitly communicated to me right i knew as soon as i typed april 1st it was going to drive low IQ dickheads insane. I knew it. I knew it. I almost relished in it. As I was typing it, I was sort of going like, I could just leave this detail out because it's going to drive fucking morons crazy. But it was like multiple people said, basically they wanted to get it out sooner than that. 
ideally, but there was like a buffer of time that basically meant it could be out as late as April first. Now I'm dealing with Valve on, on this story. You know what I mean? Like if I'd said it's coming out today and it came out tomorrow, everyone would have gone, ah, you got it wrong, streak over, fuck you. There's no grace. So I had to include the buffer period and include the detail. And as we'll see when we get to assessing the dickheads, you will notice so many people, because like one, one thing morons do, morons skim read, and things that leap off pages are things like dates and terms. And so a dickhead will just go, April 1st, it's coming out April 1st. This is an elaborate April Fool's joke set up by Richard Lewis to launch a subsack. And that's what you end up with, right? That's what dickheads do. So, of course, the idea, by the way, that, like, this would be an elaborate April Fool's, it would only be an elaborate April Fool's if it was on me. If all the separate people that gave me this information had basically fucking been working in collusion with each other, which I don't even understand how it would be possible, but it was like some HLTV setup to ruin my credibility once and for all. I mean, it was that type of thing, you know? That's the only way. But anyway, then... The sources explain that the creation of the game had been something of a priority for Valve's team, which includes members that have overseen development of previous iterations in the Counter-Strike franchise. You'll also notice since CS2 has been released, and one of the things I think is good for Counter-Strike moving forward, is they brought in new people of Valve to work on CS2. You know, not just people who've worked on Valorant maps, but just people from different backgrounds. And they're tweeting and saying, look at our work and how much we love it and how glorious it is. And it's great to be part of it. And it's like, guys, that hasn't happened for so fucking long. It was like, I think like Brian and Edo at Valve have been like the keepers of the fucking flame for like since CSGO came in from Hidden Path. And there wasn't this, like, groundswell of interest. Now, I saw a hilarious video the other day, which was some little Dota dickhead. Uh, I can't remember what he's called. Blitz casts or something, or Blitz... Not Blitz Chung, that's the hardest don't play. Well, anyway, and he's made like a little five minute rant about how Valve doesn't care about Dota, which is just so hilarious to me. Imagine being the favorite child of Valve and thinking they don't care about the game. Like, just unbelievable. Like, But anyway, the good news is now it looks like with Counter-Strike being the m most popular it's ever been in terms of people playing the game. And we're probably going to get an operation before CSGO dies as well. That would be my read on the situation. That's not a report. That's just an opinion. You know, I think you, you might even see 1.6 million. And when you consider, there's probably no beating PUBG at its peak, when it, which was like 3.2. It makes CS now like the most popular game and it's a valve game and i think they're gonna re recognize that and maybe we get to be the favorite child for a little bit which would be nice right wouldn't that be cool you know so i'll read you the rest you know the report by now but whatever specific details of the game included that it will of course be on the source to engine a move that should improve the optimization and graphical fidelity of the game and hasn't it just doesn't it look nice let's let's just start with that like there hasn't even been any, like, real changes, but doesn't it look good? Doesn't it just look nice? It's crisp, it's fresh, the lighting looks fucking sick. Some of the maps now are gonna look really modern and really cool. It's great. Now, obviously, that means all you fucking cunts with shit rigs... Or like, yeah, there's problems coming for you. Valve have always been really good about this stuff. They do like surveys to see what like type of setup you're using on the games and they're always monitoring performance and they try and make their games as good for as many people as possible. But there's no getting around it. Source 2 is going to basically mean that if you've got a low-end PC in 2023, 2024, you're going to struggle. It's it's just time to level up your game or stick to playing 1.6. They'll You'll always have that. The big question for the community has been whether or not official service would be 128 tick, bringing it in line with rival title Valorant. The source has confirmed that this would be the case and this feature would be likely ready uh, at the launch of the beta. Now, I've come in for a lot of shit on this one because they said, Richard, it's not 128 tick so i was in a weird spot because i think sources were so worried about being too specific 
that it was like the, the, the typical run of questions would go like this. Is it going to be 128 tick? Kind of. Is it going to be 64 tick? Definitely not. What does that mean? Functionally, it'll be the same as 128. So we went round and we went round and we went round. And there was no way for me to communicate accurately what they were saying. I was also a little bit nervous about, do I dig into this a bit more? And maybe this is like an identifying detail because... I didn't know who knew what when you're talking to people independently. But the general consensus was it was going to be better than 64 tick, and it was going to be functionally the same as 128 tick. Now, I have seen lots of people be crit like the one criticism I think players have had and streamers have had is that uh, it doesn't feel as good as 128 tick. I have always thought that there was going to be issues because it was made specifically for 64 tick. And I gotta say, I think like coming up with this idea of having like a no tick system, I think that does feel like going in the right direction for me. I, I think that's like the right plan. And pros will always moan and say things don't feel good and blah, blah, blah. And But, you know, this is the beta stage. I, I'm pretty confident they'll get it as close to feeling like 128 tick as is possible in a no tick system. I think, you know, that's what the beta is for. And that's why they want limited access and why they want, like, pros to have access to it and stuff like that and not me. Anyway, the game is also set to include a much improved matchmaking system with features it hopes will make the need for third-party plugging services unnecessary. These obviously aren't at launch and it says as much in in the article but basically there's a couple of things that don't seem to have come out uh, as being mentioned yet one of them's this that they, they are revising you know i was told again by multiple sources they are revising the match uh, the matchmaking system and the ranking system and it's all going to be um new and more in line with what a modern gaming experience is and the other thing that seems to have been left out and i think aquarius found this when he was like like analyzing the blog and analyzing some of the other stuff that wasn't there there's a new anti-cheat going to be attached to sort uh, csgo 2 as well or see uh, counter-strike 2 i should say uh that you know I, I don't know if it's related to the vac net they've been working on all the ai all the overwatch stuff but i'm pretty sure it's going to be an early iteration of the ai anti-cheat systems and i think as well they're going to change the way they do things this might have already been reported they're going to change uh the, so now if someone cheats in your game you know how like valve used to wait for weeks maybe a month six weeks before they would ban somebody because they want to catch people in waves well there'll be no need to do that now because it will be ai so they'll just be like well that guy's cheating and banned instantly and out of your game so so uh that i think was meant to be part of the release but because it's limited access i don't i think they're gonna let it cook for a little bit longer before it comes out but anyway i didn't include the anti-cheat part it would have just driven people too crazy i think oh no he's promising a new anti-cheat he's just making up what the community wants so i already got that anyway so anyway that was the story i'll even take it on the chin that 128 tick wasn't accurate but everything else was nobody else had access to this information nobody else committed to the story and you know i did so yay for me right so anyway as i said i didn't think this was a big deal i did not think this was a big story i thought this was just like you know richard lewis has said cs2's coming probably gets to the top of the subreddit probably gets talked about in hl tv t tv forums and that's it wrong dead wrong this story was just so unbelievably big it literally just went everywhere so i mean let's I, I, I'm, this is in no particular order right but like, so this was, I, it, again, if I get the language wrong, I apologize. But this was like CBCS one expert. I mean, I don't even know what this says. Is this Spanish? Let me, let me, <laughs> let me, let me read this. Esta semana comunidade do CSGO fico empolgada. Is this Portuguese? Right, okay. So it, it, there it is. There was, it got, we had a Portuguese one, right? Get rid of that. We had this. I don't know. It, said renal geek approximate mental hasse 
una decada valve sorprendia al mundo lanzando al mundo Counter-Strike Articulo de Richard Lewis, right? That's Spanish, I know that one. There was this, and I think this was Spanish again. Segundo o famoso jornalista de esports, Richard Lewis, uma nova versão do popular jogo. De, this is, no, this is Portuguese again. Whenever I see jogo, I always think Portuguese, right? This is Portuguese, okay, right? So, Portuguese. We had another Portuguese. Portuguese and Spanish. Come on. I can, you know, never tell them apart. This one was Honduras. This was TV Azteca Honduras. Richard Lewis. There I am. Sogun all per periodista Richard Lewis Los Avancos. Right? That's me. French, of course. There I am. The myth of Counter-Strike 2. Le journaliste Richard Lewis. is That looks like... The journalist, Richard Lewis, is a beta deviant, is what it looks like to me. Which, you know. <laughs> Hashtag got my number. This is Arabic. You can just see there. <laughs> Richard Lewis, just in the middle of it. Oh, sorry, Persian. Oh, my God, fucking hell. Guys, you're just going to... Look, if I start an international incident through my fucking Brexit-tinged ignorance, can you? Can we all just forgive me? I'm not... I'm, I'm not uh, you know I'm not a bigot. Come on. Right? I just, you know. How can I tell the difference between Persian and Arabic? Uh, you know. Anyway, this is abstract. I don't even know what they are. Up, uh, upskirt news. Says Counter Strike 2 is legit and coming just around the corner. Richard Lewis. Hashtag Richard Lewis. Playthegame.cl. Go on, tell me where .cl is then. Chile. Yeah, all right. There we are. Okay. Thought so. This was another Brazilian. I was. Because I was in. The clutch.br, which is like a big esports thing in Brazil. And you can see this is Essa Mundinho Dorcias AOK Dita, a real adade dot esports, and has ultimas two decades morphi. Yeah, but you didn't know that. Sponge is tagged in it for some reason. And then it just says Richard Lewis. She needs to be assassinated, I'm pretty sure that says. Richard Lewis, Asinau. This is... Don't even know where this is from. DDG Ada. Rumor, De Accordo Como Journalista Richard Lewis. That's... that's it seems Portuguese again. Must have been very upsetting for the Brazilian fans. There's a lot of Richard Lewis here. This is Dust2 Brazil. With uh, that... What's that emoji? Is that shocked face? Is that shocked emoji? Well, anyway, Counter Strike 2, a real, uh, a Sarah Lancardo M. Braver Disjournalista. Good stuff. ESA, this looks Turkish. No doubt I'm about to cause an international incident by inaccurately recognizing the Turkish language. That looks Turkish to me. Son Zamniada, Siklikia. <laughs> yeah? There you go. Bazedelin. It doesn't matter. It's Richard Lewis is in it, isn't it? It was all me. It was me the whole time, Austin. This one also looks Turkish. This was multiplayer TV. That one, not even... I'm just not even trying this one, guys. Don't need to, do I really? Just butchering people's languages. But look, Richard Lewis in Idacina Go. Right? Classic. This one, Inquirer.net. Right? Inquirer.net is... 3.7 million followers on Twitter. 3.7 million. And online rumors say a new version of Counter Strike Global Offensive may come in March 2023 after a report from esports journalist Richard Lewis. Three likes. <laughs> yeah, no. 3.7 million followers. Now, who's to say that maybe some of them aren't real? I'm sure Elon's going to get right on that, right? Zhu Video. These were big as well, I think. Yeah, 1.8 million followers. Counter Strike 2. Est Pret. Et de vrai. Et tres. Annonce. C'est moi. Si salon. Richard Lewis, journalista esports. There you go. Non say. The Dutch site is appropriately called Tweakers. Uh, which um, seems to be <laughs> seems to be a little on the nose, but whatever. Counter Strike Two, Vermo Delic in Devorm Van CSGO met in engine upgrade. 
is in die mark and binnen in mand kommt er in beta test dat zeggen in jede geval bronnen van game journalist richard lewis so can't really go wrong with dutch it does what it says on the tin doesn't it there was also uh game kings uh, Volgans, Richard Lewis, Ian Bekend, Counter Strike Kenner. So, good news there. Alright, Agenitalia, Il Gionalista, Richard Lewis ant Anticipa, La Annuncio, The Counter Strike 2, La Red Dodelio Sparuto Di Valve. That's some real fucking shit. Italian's the best language. Fight me. I won't say if this is Persian or Arabic. I, I don't want to start a thing, but it's one of them, maybe. And then I was delighted, delighted to be appropriately named in Saudi Gamer. <laughs> Where I assume <laughs> they're saying Richard Lewis is announced CS2, but they might also be saying coming soon to a series of suitcases near us. I don't know. Also, I got a reset era thread. And you know what? I thought it was going to be my Breitbart, my Gamergate, my Milo, Richard Lewis is evil. But uh, there wasn't really any of that. Like, pretty much, it was all just, you know, oh, Richard Lewis is that guy from Kirby Enthusiasm. Maybe it's time to CS stop, somebody said. Oh, pretty funny. People actually discuss the fucking game and what it might mean. I would even go so far as to say that this is staggering to me, but the level of discourse on Reset Era was better than Reddit and HLTV, like, which is terrifying to me. So anyway, the point of showing you all that was this story sort of went, uh, uh, you know, for want of a better word, viral. And this was then topped off. It ended up in Forbes, right? Counter-Strike 2 reportedly launching this month. The journalist, respected esports journalist. So somebody finally decided to add the term respected. I don't want to sound like Rodney Dangerfield, but I can't get no respect at all, can I? I can't get no respect at all. I got into a cab last night. I said to the driver, take me to where I can get some action. He drove me to my house. I can't get no respect, that tells you. I can't get no respect at all. So, yeah, a respected journalist in Forbes. All right, then, yeah, we'll have that. Like, we'll, 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 we'll take that one. So where do we go next? Because shall we do... Yeah, let's do the HLTV report, right? And I'm going to start us off with the archive version for reasons that will become clear. But this was Striker, the only... Schumann, capable of eating an apple through a tennis racket, he decided that, you know, he was going to write up the news, right? And fair enough. It's nice to be recognized on a prestigious publication like HLTV, right? And they decided, he decided, I should say, to basically say, Counter-Strike 2 is real and around the corner, according to Richard Lewis. And loads of people are saying, Richard, why would you be upset by this headline? It, it's very accurate. You did say it. Right, well, okay, let me just show you one thing before we get into this. I need you guys to think about how much news I have broken that relates to CSGO, and I'm just going to do the last five years. Think of all the stories I have broken relating to CSGO in that time period. Just the CSGO ones, it's a lot, right? How many times do you think Richard Lewis has been referenced in those five years as being a source? Because they don't like me. I don't know if you don't know, I don't know if you know this, but they really hate me. The you know, it's not like Martin or No or fucking M and M's. It's not even Professor. It's like the uh, you know, it does like a hat. And the, by the way, the only reason me and Striker don't get along is Striker's too stupid for me to ever be friends with. He can't grasp things like conflict of interest. So I just don't think he has any place being a journalist that's my opinion right so there's no there's no need for us to talk because the things i value and think are important he can't even recognize as existing so what is the point right so i don't even give a shit you know like who cares but anyway hltv have this rule this is, goes all the way back to cadred times where basically if i broke a story first they would they deliberately wouldn't write about it until they had gone and got another source or the maybe the source i had to say to them it was real and then they would go hltv source 
horses. They used to do this shit all the time because they're just petty small people, right? They started to expand it open to basically all of the little dick suckers who just wanted the name on HL TV. You know, guys like Nell, right? Like every time Nell breaks a story, it would always be like in association with HL TV. Our sources were Nell just wanted the fucking clout. Like I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, who cares? This is a search for Richard Lewis on HLTV. So we'll ignore the Hunden files, because they're brand new, and we'll go to Counter-Strike 2 is real around the corner, Spirit conducts investigation into wonderful match-fixing uh, match allegations, Peacemaker, sus Peacemaker suspension lifted by ESIC. I'm only mentioned there because Peacemaker mentioned me in the letter because I helped him with his appeal, right? Hobbit implicated in match-fixing allegations by former teammate denies involvement. That was when I translated all that Kazakhstan stuff. And then it's just me working events. So, what, like four or five times? So all the news I broke. But now suddenly, I'm important enough to put in a headline. Guys, I'm sorry, I can see through it. It's so transparent, and I'll tell you exactly what was going on. Because, think about it, like, Sponge went and tested it, and they do a podcast with him, and he obviously never, he never let on, never said anything to them. Right? Also, they're HLTV. They're the biggest site. They're like meant to know these things because they might need to change. You know, when we move over to CS2, they're going to have to tweak how they pull the data from the server and stuff like that. So maybe they might get a tap on the shoulder or someone would know. Or maybe someone's. Mo no, none of that. None of that happening. So, in other words, they were so fucking convinced. Like, it can't be right because we're HLTV that basically they put my name in it knowing that if it was wrong i'd get absolutely crucified by their community and once they wrote this article and i really wish they hadn't that was when the bulk of the abuse started coming into my dms because it as you'll see hltv people are fucking maniacs like if you have an account on that site like i, I don't know what to tell you i don't i like there's something wrong with you obviously because i can't imagine ever needing to engage on with other morons about moronic opinion they also picked an e-league picture of me right which is like me buttoning up a jacket uh, which they took somehow while i was at turner i don't even know because remember by the way i'm such an arsehole apparently i even did an interview with them when they came to e-league we rolled out the red carpet for hl tv i said like all fucking old beef put that to one side we'll do interviews we'll give you press access whatever you need and this is how they repay it by the way they've treated me like a cunt ever since e-league stopped that's just how it is like so anyway let's have a look at some of the reactions and yeah i mean good point using a picture of me in what's meant to be uh, an article about cs gore is wild as fuck but anyway, so let's go through some of these comments because some of these were just ridiculous. Uh, RL is a clown. Why is HLTV taking on paid articles? I don't even understand what that means. I think the implication there is I've paid HLTV for them to publish my story. Uh, isn't that the psycho ch chokes people and then went walk? Remember, guys, I'm right wing until I'm not, and then I'm walk. I'm the walky chalky, right? Like of, of esports. Richard Lewis said he quit CSGO just so he could get back in again in CS2. Now, keep in mind, I've never said I've quit CSGO. Never said that. Ha ha ha, told you so. Ha ha ha. What about now? Ha 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 ha. Suck on these. Ha ha ha. Richard Lewis. Now, again, guys, it's what about today? What, who said what about now? Like, it's what about today, dickhead? Today, today. The, without the... Without the syncopation of a two day, with it doesn't work. What about now? Doesn't work. What about two day? Works. It's more guttural. It's like it's almost like I work with words and you fucking don't, right? CS Go Two is overhyped. They won't even release it soon. What about now, dickhead? What about now that it's actually out, dickhead? Any any self awareness? Of course not. Like bet they're gonna make a thread in April first about the release of Source Two, thinking it's funny. These men's from UK, no humor, cringe. That's from Oi Mate for fuck's sake, man. I don't even know what the premise of that is. So wait, wait, Valve are an American company based in Seattle, quite famously. Like, who's the fucking who's the UK men's with no sense of humor? Like, I, I'm in on it, am I? I'm running Valve. I'm running their source two division. Free marketing campaign for Richard, sponsored by HLTV. Uh, yeah, they'll def they definitely do me a favour. Sheesh, Richard Lewis also confirmed Jampy coming back to CS if this update happens. Now, this is from an account 
called Jim Pat Banjo Jampy 2023 Era Pog, and he loves Jampy. He's a fan of Jampy. Now, what I'm going to go out on a limb is, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is a chronically mentally ill HLTV user who likes Jampy and has therefore imagined I've said Jampy is coming back to CS with CS2. I can't even imagine, like, how little, of little importance that would be. Like, what's Jampy doing? Like, get Ja Rule on the phone, you know? Um, HLTV baiting us, everyone knows Richard Lewis' opinion is meaningless. Then somebody said, yeah, no. Then G2 only winning because competition sucks. JKS is a fraud. Some quotes from RL. And this is from an account called Hooksy underscore Gigachat. So somebody said, this isn't an opinion piece, you moron. You should read the article. What about today, dickhead? Someone just replies with, what about today, dickhead? Although he is a dickhead... Most of the time, most of the time. And his opinions can be a bit weird. His journalism and information sources are usually trustworthy, usually being 100% of the time. HLTV News Generator at its finest. There was this shit little HLTV News Generator, which basically was just their font and the background, and you could make like fake, fake articles to bait your friends. Why would we believe him? He's just an analyst, no said daddy dolga now that's great actually because i like literally ha like uh, when i was an analyst i was told i couldn't be an analyst now you know and when i'm a journalist i get told i'm just an analyst he's a reporter and i don't think he had reported on anything that hasn't come true as of now now he faked i buy power matching scandal because shazam wanted attention after being kicked from a team for the 60th time it's easy for him to be right if all you're reporting is other information that is leaked already. Never broke a story, by the way. Never broken one. Someone just said Hooksy Giga Chad as well, and that's fine, I guess. According to the report, the game will come with 128 tick rate servers. Ha 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 ha. How's your tick rate today, dickhead? Not 64, is it? Lewis is clown. Bait. Ah, Lewis, always trying to be the guy who said it first, and it's annoying. So... Remember, it's annoying that I'm trying to break news. How dare I? Lewis, least trusted source. He rates me three clown emojis. Can you name a few things he reported wrongly on? G2 gonna be shit with this roster. By the way, how did you do with fucking the ESL Pro League? The easiest fucking layup of your life, this Pro League. And you fucking bomb out to ends. Like, okay, guys. Okay, killing the game. As soon as everybody gets their level back up as well, by the way, like... You're gonna just realise how bad your team actually is. You had a you had a very small window to dominate, and you can't even do it. But fine. G2 gonna be shit with this roster. When G2 goes to dominate two tournaments in a row, he backtracks and says competition sucks. I never backtracked. It was just a separate opinion. Uh, do you know what an opinion piece is and what is actual reporting? What do you want me to give you? Not like he reports anything like 1PV, that's Nell's publication, just talks about what happens and his opinions. Since his prediction about G2 was way off, I think he is a clown. Source 2 stuff coming out is nothing new, and 3 clicks Philip covered all this before him. Another, again, the arbiter of journalism. Man doesn't do actual reporting, and this isn't something new either. A new bottle of whiskey is around the corner, says Richard Lewis. Don't trust the word this lunatic says. To be fair to it. That's got my number. There's literally no way Valve will release CS2 on April 1st. No one said that that was happening. HLTV loves R. Lewis for some reason. Yeah, definitely, as we'll get to. Why is HLTV reporting on frauds? Yep, sure. Trust Richard. Lul. I believe it. But this March, I don't believe it. Well, you see, my friend, as as the date was essentially, like, as it was contingent to the story, like, people saying April Fool's, strong uptake for April Fool's. On April 1st, he will say April Fool's. According to Richard Lewis, nice fail save Casey is wrong. Indeed, you're the only sensible person in this thread. One thing I learned about Counter-Strike leaks over the years Never trust Richard Lewis from the appropriately named. Do not listen to this guy who is a fan of outsiders. CSGO 2 is reeling around the corner. Happy face, according to Richard Lewis. Sad face. Plus one from delusional Brazilian. What kind of news? It's sad that R. Lewis is reporting it. Such an awful human being. We'll be seeing more 
of Eduardo's cousin in other threads about me. Richard Lewis's career is going to be over if he messes this one up. Now, this was a common opinion, as I'll show you when we get to some of the content creator reactions. Now, this would have reduced my record from 100% to 99.9999. Like, you know, it wouldn't have moved the dial. But everyone was convinced if I was wrong about this, like I would have to like book time on the BBC to commit ritual suicide with a headband on. And like, you know, I would have like Sam saying like, you know, like be ready to chop off my head once I've done the seppuku part. Like, ah! I am sorry for being wrong about CS2. Ah, do it now, Sam, do it now. Like, I don't even know why. Like, I don't even know why. Like, it's, it's like, to me, it like just isn't a big fucking story at all. Like, it just wasn't a big deal. But loads of people were like, career suicide, career suicide. He's just committed career suicide. But I was fucking right, wasn't I? I was right again. And you're, you're still nobody. You're still nothing. You're still nothing. You're still not shit on my shoes. And I'm, I was right again for the fucking millionth time. It's, it's incredible how it keeps happening. Sometimes RL talks too much. So I don't know if I can take this seriously or not. Now, some of those comments got deleted. Okay. Because, obviously, they wanted to have, like, a sort of pretense of it's not just a big hate thread against Richard Lewis. But, after a few days, of course, a lot of that got abandoned. So, we're going to continue in that thread now. That G2 best guy, obviously, continued. Someone took the time out of their day to try and explain what a reporter is to him. Which kind of feels like a hide into nothing. According to a Clown Fiesta organizer, lulls. Uh, source, I made it up. I would rather trust Naldor Benny than this scum rat Lewis. Now, try not to take into account that his flag is Brazil. And let's just instead assume he's got a valid opinion about me. You can hate him all you want, but when it comes down to his real journalist work, he's done a qualified job. Didn't ask, didn't care. He's a sensationalist, and for some clips that I've saw racist too and then he is a man child yes but hltv wouldn't write such an article if they think he is a lying journalist oh they absolutely would the wokey jokey racist stopped reading it according to richard lewis according to richard lewis joke counts right to his real richard d lewis richard lewis will be skinned alive if he lies i'll be skinned alive guys skinned alive Hopper wasn't locked. He was skinned alive. That's that's uh, a fitting. Yeah, come and fucking skin me then, Jaren DL. Fuck off, peasant. Absolute fucking loser. According to Richard Lewis, made the article for me. I don't know about y'all. Ha ha ha. Oh, this guy's incredible. No quarter is the best. He turns up in almost every thread about me on HLTV, and he he's like fully mentally ill. Like. His criticism is he says that, like, how can I take anything Richard Lewis says seriously because he has a scruffy beard? That That is actually true. And he always says, whenever Richard Lewis makes a thumbnail, it's the same 10-year-old picture of him in a suit. And then you look at the thumbnails on my channel, and it's like I've never used a picture of me in a suit on a thumbnail. Like, actual mental illness. This guy turns up in so many threads, it's unbelievable. Uh, he just flaps his wings hard on whatever the current hot topic is. So what's he reported that's wrong? Any of his exes saw shit variations of the title where he shit talks whatever the hot topic is for clickbait views is a 50-50 because his point is not to be true to reporting. His point is to get clicks. You can see he's a very high-level thinker when it comes to, me you know, how media works case and point hooksy trash talking when he was doing bad but g2 was still doing better than e ever even before the rmr fail uh, not true by the way anyone with half a brain and knowledge of what is happening in the game knew that hooksy had a legit chance to pull it off because he was a solid igl who never had tier one resource rl knows that hooksy was his own analyst that takes so much work, and it's not really a surprise he evolved so much when he has a dedicated analyst. But RL went on a hype train to shit talk to that in few of his videos, despite it being blatantly false. Like, apparently, guys, because Hooksy, who's never been an IGL at a top org ever again, just because you can't understand what he's saying, had to be his own analyst because he was at Copenhagen Flames. This makes him an amazing IGL. That's just one example of him being detached from reality. 
But going for whatever the hot take is, there's way more evidence than RL suggests that CS2 is a legit product. But yeah, can't take him seriously when it's 50-50 if it's a legit report or a hot take that's made to inflate views. One, Richard, lol. Two, we don't want CS2, we want CSGO2. Unlucky, I'd say. Richard Lewis's credibility is totally on the line. If, imagine if there's a delay. Very exciting times. Not so exciting now is it, you fucking loser. Not so exciting that I was right again. Oh, yeah. You must be spewing. Must be spewing. Another guy, by the way, who turns up in just tons of threads about me. Like, what a fucking actual loser. Like, I like how RL takes all the info about new CS, which everyone else found, and credit himself for it. Who had the dates? Oh, yeah, me. Who knew it was called Counter-Strike 2? Oh, yeah, me. Who knew it was going to have improved tick rate at launch? Oh, yeah, me. Okay, right, good. Glad we established nobody else fucking had that. Glad, glad. And there you go. And that was just the HLTV reaction from that thread. Now, as I said, started getting a ton of fucking abusive messages the minute that that report went up. Like, it was actually ridiculous. Just accounts that, like, you know, I just don't, don't recognize. They don't follow me. Just sending me fucking nonsense. Because, obviously, like, it, you know, they did it deliberately to fucking stir up the passions so let's have a look as well right these are in no particular order little bit of memento don't don't trust richard lewis definitely don't trust him even if there will soon be source 2 for cs he wouldn't know and i bet this is speculations better watch this video at least this is god gabe's info not zero proof hawks i don't know what he was going for here somebody like just said he's got a good record so we should probably trust him and he replied with, let's see, but you won't be happy on Alril first if he said, I jawled after trying to be so defendant from him. Quatch this video yourself. It clearly says that Valve employees has less communications because of their flat structure so they can dock quat if they want and also yes they are working on i but i don't believe it ood were anywhere as soon as april one lol now one typo is a mistake isn't it right one typo is a mistake two typos you, you've probably drunk or in a hurry 10 typos i don't know i don't know what's going on there Somebody asked him, are you drunk? And he said, no, he deliberately made his post harder to understand so I don't start conversations who are blind. Someone, the same person says, look, I've got no reason not to trust him. And he says, he just probs saying to get attention as dumb people get more famous these days for saying and doing stupid shit. I mean, like, this guy type that fucking abomination of a paragraph and thinks he still gets to dictate like like he has an opinion on fucking who is stupid and who isn't that's the terrible thing about stupid people like the truly stupid people don't know how stupid they are that's like really the bottleneck for all their development i, I guess also this being on hltv should also put some pressure on valve to actually do more i'm not saying his bad thing but some people put hopes too much and also pan also panic say sell skins XD debated. If he is right, you can see no name spammer plus one most likely made that up for fame, by the way. I think we've established now, like with the fact that my fucking story was like the most talked about piece of gaming news. I had to turn off my American phone because news outlets were calling it. There was fucking people asking me for quotes, asking me for beta access. I think we can pretty much say, like, this this irrelevancy thing. Like, I'd love it to be true, actually. It would have been a much more pleasant day. Would have been a lot better. But anyway, if he is right, then we will all benefit from new CS. If he is wrong, then he will fall into irrelevancy. It's a WW situation for us, boys. That, that's from someone called Krookie. He just left the Serto and is now doing this to promote his own page. And this will all be an April Fool's joke. Brazilian flag here. Richard Lewis as human is a piece of shit. But we can't deny that he does really good job as journalist. And rarely gets wrong info. I trust in his information. So that was from the thread. Don't trust Richard Lewis. 
Obviously, it made it to the game subreddit as well. Well, you can imagine how pleasant that was. There is a chronically mentally ill poster in this thread. Uh, a guy who you can always tell immediately they are heavily involved in League of Legends. They've had an unblemished Reddit account for 9 to 12 years. And they just tell the same five lies on repeat. Uh, there was a guy called Falsus who on he just literally turns up in all these threads. Let's see what he's got to say here. Uh, he isn't spotless. Uh, I, my record is spotless. He's been called out on lies before. I'm sh surely have, but never actually been proven to be lying. He has taken things out of context and he has leaked his sources. There was an incident where he tried to strangle someone at DreamHack. His hate boner for Riot is massive and is largely biased against them. Why would anyone have a hate boner for Riot games? I mean, like, by the way, this Falsus guy must hate women. He must literally dream of hurting women. Because at the end of the day, if now, after they've settled a $100 million lawsuit for systemic sexism and sexual harassment, and you don't dislike the power structure at Riot Games, you must hate women too. You must actually hate women. It's all like, it's the only assumption like why anybody would want to stand and say, oh, all the times Richard Lewis was saying, Riot Games are bad. Riot Games are controlling. Riot Games do all the same shit. If you think, by the way, like, you know, I'm not hearing all these like horrible fucking stories and I brought them up to the best of my ability and tried to push for it and covered it for years and in the end when it finally got over the line and finally got published I made sure that everybody was well aware of what was going on reported all the fuckery all the legal wrangling they were doing so even after they tried to get out of paying the compensation even after they hired a union busting law firm we still have to like Riot Games we can't be biased against them so, like I said, this guy must actually hate women. It's the only thing. That guy posts multiple times in this thread. Like, it's actually ridiculous. Because this made it onto all, I think, somebody did the thing they do where, oh, for context, this is why this story matters, you know, because they want to get the karma or whatever. For reference, Richard Lewis is probably the Counter-Strike journalist, and he doesn't make claims in the article lightly and without vetting his sources. If he's reporting on it, most likely it's very much true. Somebody brings up the whole curb thing. He's the CS journalist from hell. Uh, not my kidney. Uh, loads of jokes from Curb Your Enthusiasm. Most likely you're doing Richard Lewis a disservice. His journalistic record is spotless. If he's putting it out there, it's true. Are we talking about the same guy? Lol, he's had a few public breakdowns and is banned from other esports. Now, again, this is Hamilton... F -A -I. I'm not banned from any eSport. I don't even know how anybody would be banned from an eSport. How would I be banned from an eSport? Am I not allowed to install it? Is that how it works? Am I not allowed to play it? Am I not allowed to talk about it? How do I get banned from an eSport, you thick cunt? How would how would anyone ban me from an eSport? How would I have, like, total... Like, I, I'm, I'm not allowed to engage with it in any way, shape, or form. Like, just utter fucking like nonsense like these dickheads don't even know how the fucking world works but whatever definitely tell me your opinion ill-informed dickhead um he's an absolute lunatic who can't stop yelling or fighting people but is also generally to be trusted when he reports stuff weird stupid guy but he has sources and doesn't generally do ass polls so now i'm out there every weekend fucking literally you know Come out, yeah, black guitars. Go out and fight me like a man. I'm doing that every weekend. I'm screaming at people and fighting them, am I? Like, I don't know. Like, I think probably I'm not doing that, actually, because I'm a grown-ass man. Like, probably not singing Irish rebel songs and fighting people in the streets. But, you know, whatever your head canon is about me, let's just fucking do it. Like, remember, it's okay when players fight people. Config, loving it in Malta again. This time around, I couldn't help but notice. Certainly, oh yeah, I'm, I'm working through all my problems. Another pint, lads? Straight to the same fucking flight of stairs he did his leg on, by the way. No joke. 
Anyway, uh, he just has a huge ego that is self-destructive. Snaps fingers. This is a classic, like, Redditors having to be, like, snaps fingers. Like, now I remember who he is. He's the guy who decided to be a dick and try to find dirt against three... You see how this story is, like, metamorphosed into, like, just utter nonsense? Because he thought there is no way Philip is general, genuinely as nice of a guy. So, so now the story is, I didn't make a joke saying there's no way that anyone's that nice. Turned out he actually isn't that nice. But now I was digging into him. I was actually, like... I was actually getting dirt on him. Like, what, what? No, at no point. Like, what are you talking about? He's an asshole and I avoid him like the plague. Yeah, you do because you're a nobody on Reddit that I will never meet, never interact with. Like, so yes, you do avoid me like the plague. I avoid you like the plague too. Isn't that a coincidence? Like, uh, but when it comes to journalism, he doesn't pull it out unless he can 100% confirm it. If only his hands were spotless. This is bad things, bad people. Made multiple posts about the Lorda incident. If only his hands were as spotless. Don't show your neck around this alpha because he has a grip that won't quit. Uh, Roman Abbasid. Wait, is this the same Richard Lewis that choked out Lorda? Remember, remember, I took him to the floor and was locked in a rear naked choke until he was unconscious, remember? I think you'll find he choked him to a Good guys, all there in there. Choked Sam through a table. Probably not the first p person that felt like choking Lorda. Uh, and someone replies, ah, yes, that okay is violence. Everybody would, I, I say this, right? If I'd let Lorda kick the shit out, shit out of me, all the comments would be, do you remember when he got beat up by Lorda? Yeah, that was hilarious. You 100% can't win. There's that Falsus loser again, Dr. Falsus. He also kicked up a fuss over the league subreddit mods receiving free plush toys. So there's that. No, that wasn't it. Uh, at all uh, it was the fact that they were having like secret meetings with like riot light that they were sitting in a skype group with riot employees discussing things you posted on reddit which by the way now would probably constitute a gdpr violation i don't know maybe not maybe but whatever you know they had riot employees working as mods on the subreddit censoring shit but yeah the plush toys were the problem he writes for fucking breitbart Somebody points out he doesn't. Then his journalistic record is spotless. Somebody said he works for neo-Nazis. Uh, <laughs> and then added, regardless of what you think of Nazis and all the other places he's been banned from being an asshole, his record is spotless. Obviously being sarcastic. His gaming journalism work is fine for the most part. His YouTube and other journalistic work, Breitbart, etc. By the way, I love how everyone glosses over, like, I wrote unbelievable woke bullshit for years when lucian got introduced in league of legends you can go read the article i was talking about like is the league of legends community mature enough because there was a lot of racist memes on launch day literally wrote multiple articles advocating for like rio ferdinand when he went on strike from england and he was getting loads of pressure because john terry racially ab abused his brother anton I, I wrote at the daily dot for two and a half years all of it left-leaning all of it progressive but somehow the six months at breitbart is meant to have like warped my mind so much that i'm no longer a progressive dude like and also keep in mind anybody who's eager even vaguely right of centre still thinks I'm a walkie so you, you just can't win with anything he panders to alt-right idiots unironically using the term alt-right in 2023 he seems to get very little interaction in general these days on YouTube and Twitch which is probably related to the above so what is it I'm pandering to the alt-right to get views but i get no views do you think probably if i was pandering to the alt-right for views and getting no views i'd probably stop pandering oh none of it's happening it's just you're mentally ill okay good 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 to know efficient giraffe good to know then somebody says he panders to alt-right idiots quite often yeah he's a gaming journalist like as if I, I, are you serious? Are we saying games journalists pander to the alt right now? That's the rule, is it? That's like what we believe. So anyway, that was fucking nonsense. And again, I got a ton of hateful comments about that. All people calling me Nazis and whatnot. Uh, of course, people did the thing as well where it's like, yeah, let's just bring Maria up. But let's just keep opening that wound in perpetuity for Richard Lewis. Is he a transphobe or is he not, you know? So there was loads of that going on. That was, uh, that was, that thread in particular was a, was a great deep, deep joy. Lots of fun. Right, next. Now this guy is such a fucking fraud. Like it's actually, 
embarrassing. I'm showing you the Reddit thread so you can see the thumbnail. It was the number two, it was Counter-Strike 2, and a big red X through it. So in other words, everything Richard Lewis has said is bullshit. That was his angle. And I was like, nah, he ain't specifically doing that. He's not specifically doing that. He's not actually saying my reporting is wrong. This is a guy, no journalistic experience. He's a guy who literally just posts. He used to have some inside source at Valve, and then the story goes he pissed Valve off over something he leaked he wasn't supposed to, and then everybody shut him off. And then since then, he's just been throwing darts in a fucking board and just making stuff up to keep his channel alive. So that's pretty much who Tyler McVicker is. So I was like, there's no way he's specifically calling me out, because that would just be ridiculous. But actually, we're going to watch this video now, and uh, as you'll see, oh yeah, yeah, he did do that. Counter-Strike Global Offensive will be receiving its Source 2 port within the next 60 days, at least in an open or somewhat open-closed beta. Counter-Strike Global Offensive... Now, by the way, this was originally called what it said on Reddit. So now it says, looks like I was wrong. What the hell was happening? It's happening. More on that in a moment. But the original thread, the original video was called, no, Counter-Strike 2 is not real and Source 2 is not round the corner. That was what he called it. That's what this great informed fucking genius, Tyler McVicker said. It has been in development for Source 2 for years we've been talking about it on this channel since 2018 and yes yes i wonder why that's happening i wonder why you are endlessly talking about the one topic that gets you clicks on your youtube channel i really wonder why that is due to the pandemic and half-life alex and some changes in management the port took ages the the development team understands that there needs to be almost no playable difference between the Source Engine and the Source 2 Engine if this port will be considered competitively viable. Now, where's he pulled that from? Why would they want... What would be the point of porting it across so the, so the game handles no differently? Obviously, they want the game to handle differently. Obviously, they want like things like improved hit registration. Obviously, they want to have it so the 128 tick lineups all work because that's what pros are using on 128 tick servers. Where's he got that from? It doesn't make any sense. Yes, and when I knew as well, the other thing I didn't put in the report, but I was told was, yeah, they've done a complete overhaul on Smokes. Smokes handle completely differently. So I was like, listening to this going, well, you definitely have no juice. Like, you've got absolutely no clue about what is going on. Because the whole point of this is, they do want to make the game dynamically fucking different. All of this combined has caused a massive multi-year delay and development cycle that has made all of the Counter-Strike data miners look like a bunch of dumbasses. Well, unfortunately, some misunderstandings of recent findings within NVIDIA drivers... Here you go. This is where he frames it as a misunderstanding. Now, by the way, yes, Nobody disputes that there was names of these exes floating around years ago. You can go look at it yourself. I think they first happened in like 2019. But here's the thing. That's got fuck all to do with them just being added to uh, like the NVIDIA executable log at that point. Like that's obviously significant. But anyway, because he's like wants to have a little lash out at the data miners as well. Because remember, only Tyler McVicker. Like this guy has two... what. 355,000 subs. What are you subbing for? What do you get from listening to this cunt? He knows nothing. He has no connections. He has no insider knowledge. It's just some guy bleating about nonsense, about the, the, the voices in his head told him. And people are following him for that. Well, what is the point like? as well as a publication by a well-respected yet misunderstood developer has caused i'm a what a well-respected yet misunderstood developer right so i'm a developer uh, i'm not i'm a journalist and i'm misunderstood am i i'm fucking misunderstood you know my sources you know who i vetted i'm misunderstood am i i'm misunderstood how are you not misunderstood you fucking dickhead you've been wrong for four fucking years like how do you get to be as wrong as you and still think i'll just roll the dice again this time and people still let you by the way i'll tell you this 
Uh, I actually went on his stream on the day it was announced because I went full, what about today, dickhead? And this guy, I knew he was going to turn his Twitch stream on. And get this for fucking the sheer audacity of what happened on that stream, right? And he deleted the VOD because he's a fucking coward and a liar. I went on the stream and was like, what about today, dickhead? Blah, 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 blah. And his audience were like, oh my God, uh, Richard's here. He's such an asshole. Look at him. He's so fat. And like, he was going like by the way probably no bigger than tyler and and he was going now listen i've struggled don't call him fat if he is fat because i've struggled with weight myself and it's not nice and we don't fat shame here so anyway right his moron of a girlfriend who was on the stream with him at the time said this get this for a gem she said, why are you coming into chat and doing it publicly when you could just talk to him privately? Talk to him privately, like making a fucking video, you moron. Like making a video, impugning my reputation and saying I am misunderstood and saying I am wrong and that my report is giving the community false hope and nobody should listen to me. Did he do it publicly or did he come to me privately and say, are you sure about this? No, of course. He made his little video for fucking clicks because he's a worm and a dickhead. So take your fucking AEIQ opinion and stick it up your ass, right? And then the other point I said was, I, 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 I like said to him, like, any apologies? Like, want to make an apology fucking video? Anything like that? He said, no, man, I don't have to do that because all I was commenting on was that your speculation was wrong. But it turns out your speculation was right and my speculation was wrong. I wasn't speculating, you cretin. You fucking cretin. That's the difference. I've got skin in the game. You get to be wrong over and over and over over again like all the clout goblins i can't even be wrong once that's the risk i take so fuck you and fuck the rest of this video because just watch the nonsense dribbling out of this cunt's mouth has caused the industry to assume that this counter-strike global offensive source to port is a full-on sequel called counter-strike 2 was it was it do you think saying looks like I was wrong is enough of an apology for the shit you've just said and are about to say? That is a gross misunderstanding and misrepresentation of... Uh, it's a misrepresentation now. Well, it, it's still, from my vantage point, after the fact, looks like I was fucking right and you were fucking wrong. And it, you need, to, for the rest of your life, you should only make one type of YouTube video now. You should just turn on your camera, right? And you, it looks like you just don't, you're one of those guys, you don't even talk on camera. You just talk over gameplay footage, right? How about this? Turn, this is the only video you should make for the rest of your life. You turn on the camera and you just go, oh, I'm a cunt, I don't know. What I'm talking about. Sorry, I don't know why you, you you should unsubscribe. Stop following me. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed of everything I've done, everything I've said. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've been lying to people for fucking years for YouTube clicks, and now finally I'm having a mea culpa and a hand to God. You need to unsubscribe. That's the only video you should ever make after something this embarrassing. Because remember, if I'm committing career suicide, what are you doing? You were wrong. You should delete your whole channel, right? You should be ashamed. You should be ashamed. ...of the situation and is setting up a community for absolute disappointment when a open beta does release and the game is, hopefully, noticeably the same. Now, is it noticeably the same? No, it looks better. It handles different. Smokes are different. There's more stuff coming, by the way. There's going to be new maps. This all starts with an NVIDIA driver update that included references and parameters for a Counter-Strike Global Offensive Source 2 build. This came in multiple references, one being a CSGO S2 execute who is older than Counter-Strike Global yeah, we know. Intervention. Obviously, something occurred with NVIDIA causing them to have this CS2 build. According to insider sources, Valve has actually been sending out hardware to third parties to be able to test and prepare themselves for the Counter-Strike Source 2 build. But somehow this hardware included this prehistoric executable. So prehistoric, so prehistoric, mate. It's so prehistoric that it's actually what the fucking executable is called, you silly cunt. 
It's so prehistoric, mate. It's literally what you click on. In fact, people will be able to tell you a build got leaked. Guess what the exe file was called? Now, this is speculation, mate. You're, you haven't got any inside sources. You haven't got any inside sources. Stop pretending. File. It's what embarrassing. The end of it? A lot of people seemed to misrepresent this situation. The point of all of this, hidden within NVIDIA drivers and actually within the back end of Steam itself, are upwards of down, but for sure, act, for a not good member of the shop, etc. Things started to calm down, but then the day of recording, today, a well respected member today member of the Counter Strike community published an article called Yes, Counter Strike 2 is real. I'm sorry, was it real? Can we all just do a little fucking show of hands? Was it real? Oh, it was real, was it? All right, well, what have you got to say about this part, Tyler? What have you got to say about say this? No, Counter Strike 2 is not real. I, I just can't, like, I do not understand the world where this dickhead gets to be this wrong. I do not understand it. I do not understand why anyone would click on anything this guy makes ever again, or look at a tweet, or anything he says. Like, how can you be this wrong? How can you be this fucking wrong? Like, it's actually mental. It's so crazy to me that he gets to be this wrong. No one would have showed me any quarter. I wouldn't have been able to rename the report. Lol, looks like I was wrong. Wouldn't have got away with it, would I? Valve is creating a Source 2 port of counter strike Offensives, and the point has always been for it to feel the same, for it to be compatible with all of its workshop content, and to allow both the official and workshop developers access to the incredibly improved Source 2 tools so that down the road, the content created for the game could be significantly expanded. So it's a long roadmap improvement, not an immediate improvement. Looks pretty fucking immediate to me. You dickhead. Right, it's enough. I can't even stand his voice. It's so ridiculous. So anyway, obviously Tyler McVick, I, I tweeted at him as well, saying like, just listen, are you going to make a video, like just apologizing or anything like that? No, no, of course not. But you know what? It's not even losers like that that get to just be these fucking clout goblins. Like, it actually depresses me that this is fucking true. But it is true. Simple had to wade in like what does it say about our scene that the goat will just say nonsense for engagement on social media like but he actually did this was said march 13th so this was like seven days or something after my report right now this again set off an unbelievable wave of negative messages, hate messages, people saying fucked up shit. Because I haven't even shown you, like, the replies on my tw on my Twitter feed or the dessert or one. Because, like, I'm, I don't even know what's on there. There was just so much ridiculous stuff. But we'll probably get to it. We'll, we'll, we'll fold it in at some point. But here you go. This is from Simple. He said there is no source two yet, and the developers haven't given anyone a beta. It was all a bait from pro players and streamers. That's what Simple said, right? So he gets to be wrong as well, by the way. The go of the game just gets to be wrong. And so when that thread came out, Richard Lewis has a better journalistic record than Simple. And here we go. This is from Dreameth. Now, Dreameth says, if I was right, you'll subscribe to my fucking Substack. So shut the fuck up. Give me your money. Give me your money and then never talk about me again, you fucking loser. Give me your money and fuck off. It's pathetic. Yeah, I'm having a laugh on my way out. I just woke up and I thought, you know what? Like, I'll fucking just, like, I'll burn the streak to the ground for fun. Like, you can see if he's real. Uh, if he's for real, I'll, I'll subscribe to his Patreon. That's how confident I am. You're so confident. That's how confidently wrong these people get to be. And then, obviously, Ghoul, I think, or no, it was Zumba, replied to him on the day it got announced. Then, this is from a, an account called Whiskey Dick Got No Chick, uh, which is definitely a self-report. Th that just makes it worse. He drops major shit-stirring news with an April Fool's due date, gets his name everywhere right when he goes all in on an independent revenue source. Laughing my fucking ass off, guys. Come on. Uh, he's a video games journalist, lol, so he can't be trusted. He's a journalist with zero incorrect stories. Uh, I read that in RL's man-child spurging voice. Thanks for the laugh. We've done so well on Richard Lewis Bingo. 
and then Jeeves just had to let the side down. Motherfucker has half of Twitter users blocked somehow, yes. Exactly 50% of Twitter. In fact, when Elon took over, I said, uh, are you familiar with the Thanos principle that 50% has got to go? And Elon said, of course, it's actually my fantasy. I'd love to enact something like that one day. Like all of us wealthy billionaires. And I said, well, tell you what, mate. For now, since we can't actually click our fingers and make dickheads like this just disappear from existence, can you just do 50% of the world on my Twitter account just completely at random? And he said, you know what? This is a feature that actually I think might really work and really appeal to some of my more wealthier clients on Twitter. So absolutely, I'll create the software for you, Richard, and we'll fucking do it. And there we go. We press the button. 50% of Twitter, mate. You've nailed it. You've got the numbers. You've had access to my Twitter details. You know how many people I have blocked. But yeah, because I blocked you, I must block everyone else. No, you are uniquely stupid that you are in a very small minority of people who got blocked. You should probably reflect on that instead of crying about it on a separate public forum. But you what you can't and won't because you're a moron. That's life. For someone as old as he is, he's about as much of a man-child. Again, strong uptake for man-child. Uh, weird, because he's done some good here and there too. RL and Thorin, got to bring up Thorin. Put that on the Richard Bingo. They're some of the best journalists, but they have some of the most brain-dead takes. Again, we exist in a quantum state where we can be the most informed about a scene but also none of that information ever formulates into a good opinion incredible I, I, it's almost uh it's almost amazing that that's possible but whatever um the guy is a prick yeah all right could it be that his source is wrong he made it seem like it was a new game when it clearly won't be. Well, I don't know. Kind of looks like it sort of is, doesn't it? Kind of called Counter-Strike 2. Has smokes in it that completely handled differently. Going to have new maps. Going to have this. Going to have that. On a new engine. Yeah, I don't know, actually. Makes me question the validity of the report. Yeah, good. Glad you questioned the validity of it, Lemmy. Now you look like a cunt. Well done. I like this line. Someone just said... Shit, I'd say Huey Lewis has a better track record than Simple as far as the news goes. That's really good. That's a sick joke. Huey Lewis in the news. That's a really good joke. You're probably about 50 years old to make that joke, but... That is a banger. Dog shit Breitbart articles. Yeah, nothing wrong in the Breitbart articles, of course. Grip on things. That's a joke about choking people. Blah, blah, blah. So, sim anyway, so Simple triggered. He, he gets to say... Uh, it's just something people were making up. We were just, I was just making it up. I'm a clout goblin, am I? Like, no, you're the clout goblin, simple. Hate to, hate to say it to you, but I'm just keeping it real. You didn't have a fucking clue what you were talking about, but talked about it anyway. And let's just put another cunt down, finally. Can we just all yell at this motherfucker once and for all in terms of his reporting? Because he is full of shit. He gets stuff wrong all the time, and yet Reddit worships him. It's got to stop. Overdrive is full of shit, guys. He's full of shit. You've just seen Simple say it's not real, implying he didn't test it. Spoiler, I now know who did and who didn't. He didn't. Yet, Overdrive, the great insider Overdrive, literally said on his Telegram channel that Na'Vi has been testing CSGO 2 for a month. They've had access to it for over a month. Here it is, an insider from Valve told me. So, by the way, this guy now, 100% a liar. An absolute chancer. An abs he just guesses. So, anybody outside of maybe a roster move involving a Russian player, if you believe anything this guy says, you are a fucking fool. This guy is a bullshit artist. Remember, Neymar was making a super organization, and he was going to sign Zewu and Simple and called Zera, and they were all going to play together. Remember when, remember when he said that story? And everyone went, oh my god, how many, again, why do these losers get to be wrong over and over and over and over and over and over again, but I can't be wrong once? It's career suicide if I'm wrong. Literally pulling stuff out of his ass. So here, an insider from Valve told me, you don't have any insiders at Valve. You might have, like, some people, like, who, uh, maybe there's, like, a Russian employee, like, subcontractor who's done work for Valve. You do not have an insider at Valve. So stop lying about that. 
that. Uh, an insider from Valve told me that. It turns out Na'Vi has had access keys to CSGO 2 for a month, and they've been in training in it for a month, so that when it comes out, they will be the best there is. So this explains everything. It just explains everything. Doesn't explain why you're lying. Doesn't explain why Simple didn't get a plate. Didn't explain Simple's reaction when he like, saw it for the first time on the ESL broadcast. Just absolute lies and fucking nonsense. But but again, we just we just allow it, I guess. We just allow Overdrive to tell lies over and over again. Remember, this guy literally said I lied about the fucking ESIC whistleblower. This guy, I, I, I'm telling you, like anyone who believes him is a fucking idiot. I'll also just add as well, this is fine. I don't mind this. There was like an interview with Pasha where clearly he was baiting for engagement. But it made it to the front page of the subreddit and people were fucking talking about it. Pasha said, oh, there's loads of uh, new mechanics in it. People go prone. People like can lean round corners. Yes, yes, it's going to revolutionize the game and it's gonna take so much getting used to of course he was just baiting the whole time and i can't remember which side of his mma fight this was on uh but uh, anyway so that's fine that's all fun that's all banter uh, not a big deal right we can dive into some of the uniquely stupid tweets and opinions that i had I won't even bother playing the three clicks Philip video, but of course he waded in, didn't he? Because he couldn't resist. And he said, my reputation was on the line again. As if my reputation was ever on the line because this obsessed cunt made three videos about me invoking my mother, saying he harassed a squaddy in a bar and really the squaddy was a thug and I'm a thug. I don't even know. Like, you make fart fetish porn, mate. Like, I, I, and, and, and put it on YouTube. So, I don't know. Like, I don't understand how you can make a fucking video where you fart in a girl's face for your own depraved means and like your reputation's fine but my reputation is on the fucking line like I, I just i don't get it like i don't understand my reputation's on the line for doing my job and reporting stories but okay whatever like whatever so it's just so pathetic like i just have to fucking deal with it it's not even him at this point like his fans are way more insufferable like, way more insufferable. Why am I the only person whose reputation ever, uh, uh, like, for, for what I do for a living, if I ever make a mistake or get anything wrong, my entire reputation is destroyed, yet everybody else can just be a cunt in their own way, and that's fine. We just have to tolerate it, I suppose. Just one of those things. Oh, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone g gives, you know, everyone needs a fucking second chance. It's like, holy shit, like, let's also just talk about this guy. I never had any problem with this guy, but he's officially in the cunt pile, right? So, and I'll show you why. There's a guy called TDM Jesus. He makes fucking, I don't know, skins videos, like, and occasionally he'll make, like, a documentary video so we can talk about skins videos. Skins in CSGO or whatever. Like, it's just skins. Like, you know, whatever. I don't care about that. I think they're a bane on everyone's existence. And by the way, if you've seen the subreddit since CS2 come out, just filled with fucking skins weirdos. This skin looks slightly... Oh, a pixel view was a... This skin looks slightly different in a beta. Like... Fuck me. It'll be fine when it's not a beta, won't it, you dickhead? First beta? Is it your first beta, is it? Fuck me. Like, and, and, and the mods don't delete that. Like, there's just a million of those threads every single day. Like, skins weirdos are the fucking worst. Like, they're just so deranged. Like, it's actually mental. But anyway, so this guy said this on Twitter, right? It was in response to this other guy we'll see in a moment called Psylocke, right? And Psylocke had said, I wouldn't be surprised if Richard Lewis has zero info, basically. Like, just making it up for relevance. Because, yes, my track record certainly suggests that. And then TDM here's who said, the record is pretty solid if it somehow transpires he lied about all this it would be pretty spe so remember again it's not that i could be wrong or I, I you know i got the date wrong i lied i lied about it if it transpires i lied so that was the stakes in his mind and it would be career suicide it would be career suicide my career would be over i would have said what that's my career gun in the mouth blow fucking clinton did and that would have been me, right? My career would have been over for getting one story wrong or any details of the story wrong because I would have lied. I would have lied about it, right? 
And then he says there, it's a win-win for me if he lied, though. I get to make a video on his article, and then I get to follow up with a documentary video of how he ruined his entire career in a couple of months' time. Although I think the odds of him getting uh, this wrong are now basically zero. So what a pure cunt this guy is, like, by the way. What a parasite. He's the type of dude who actually does make content. You know, all my hard work, you know, he'll just do, like, a five-minute video talking over him, running around on fucking dust too or showing a skin and then basically he'll go like oh you know but who knows really what richard lewis is saying so he did this right he made his own source 2 video you see while i was making my dumb tweet a well-known journalist called richard lewis was publishing an actual report on actual inside information about source 2 Cisco's Source 2 port has been in development for a while, it's well known, and this report wasn't saying anything new in that respect, but it did contain a number of massive bombshells, like stating that Source 2 would have 128 tick servers, and also that it would overhaul matchmaking, and by the way, most importantly, it's probably going to be released as a beta this month. Now, there's been a lot of talk about Source 2 coming soon over the years, generally from... Another, another pathetic clout goblin. Like, a procession of clout goblins, by the way. Like, this Norse guy said he quit Twitter. Like, this is another guy he just, like, data mines, but pretends he's got inside sources. But, like, this guy pretended he quit Twitter. He's back on Twitter now, and that, that CS2's back. He's back on, he's back on Twitter now. He, he was doing the whole Mastodon pausing thing. Like, what a fuck. coming it? soon over the years. Generally from... And then, of course, Fishiest Dude, the original clout goblin in many ways. More of a clout orc uh, or a clout hobgoblin. Like, some sort of other subsection. The guy you remember, like, said, yeah, you know, this is all I'm allowed to say right now. Very dubious sources. There's been great data miners, but not that many good internal sources on what's actually happening with the game. But... Richard is an outlier here. He's a veteran journalist yes. with actual journalistic credentials and an actual journalistic record of getting things right. And most people who read his work are kind of inclined to take his word for it. And in the absence of public f ups, that's pretty reasonable. Another interesting detail in the article is the claim that the new version of the game has already been secretly tested by pro players at Valve's HQ. But where it is vague is on the nature of this update. His whole career of accurately reporting big stories like this news. But how does it go from here? Well, first of all, they're not going to delete your skins. They're not. Please stop worrying. Please ever want to do. Pros will see we're dealing with it, and they know that. Game follower may not know this for 100% certainty, but I would bet everything I own on him being right. This is an overhaul of CSGO. Right. So then, career suicide, remember? He makes Fishing another video where he literally is just speculating about stuff. Like, literally speculating. It, it, it's so mental. Like, he made a video called Source 2 is not what you think it is. 30k people might be watching Onipix or waiting for it to drop. This is Dust 2 in CSGO Source 2. And this is a tweet I saw from Don Hachi. But the point kind of is... Source 2 isn't necessarily the cancer-curing super game that the hype might lead you to think it is. Sure. Th now, this guy hasn't seen the game, played the game or anything at this point, right? So, 2DK people might be watching Onipix or waiting for it to drop, but what is it exactly that's going to drop? Source 2? What does it even mean? What is this update going to do to Counter-Strike? Sure, it's a big deal, but what is that deal exactly? Certainties. Source 2 will very likely be an optional beta that people can opt into. We know due to the data leak development tools and generally make the game easier to work on. This is a very important change. This is all video but speculation. More importantly, what about the graphics? Many people probably expect Source 2 to overhaul CSGO's graphics, and they're wrong. Ignoring the fact that may- Right, so you just heard it there, one of the principal things that happened because of the Source engine is the fucking graphics get updated. It looks better. It looks different. So is there going to be a graphics overhaul? I explicitly said in my report there would be a graphics overhaul, but they are wrong. You're imagining it. 
So this cunt gets to be wrong. Top comment. This aged so bad. But this will not stop him from making videos. Another cunt that needs to get on the Tyler McVicker train and fuck off. Because if you were going to make a documentary about how Richard Lewis killed his career, how Richard Lewis killed his own career, committed suicide over his career, right? If you're going to do that, right? Why are you allowed to be wrong? Why can you say that? And, and It's so staggering to me. It's so staggering to me. And on and on and on and on and on it goes. Just speculation and bullshit. Fuck these people. Now, we can look at some uniquely awful opinions. You might think this is a joke. I can assure you it's not. One of, uh, one of the most crazy sort of anti-stands that me and Thorin have is this guy called Dab Master Daniel. He's, he, you might have seen him before on shit. We got him blocked on almost everything. But why does Richard Lewis lie about who his Counter-Strike 2 source is? It's Don Hassey. Just say it's Don Hassey. We all know who it is. Stop acting like we can't figure it out. Now, by the way, Don Hassey is fucking not he's not even a leaker anymore i don't even know i don't even know if it's the same person after i'm because he talks differently like when we chat these days but that might just be he's got more mature or he's removed the level of affectation but don hassey basically got to do a bunch of leaks because he he used to be like a little hacker you know he used to be able to look up password leaks and get into people's shit and he got he gained access to a couple of skype accounts basically that was it that was the big source of all of the leaks and he's completely renounced all that, and he's a reformed character, and he basically just is a, you know, just posts memes. He's just an influencer account now. So why would he be the source on anything? What insider information do you think he has? Oh, that's right, you're still living in, like, 2015, when he was called, like, Yi Lamau or something, right? Let's have this one complete with reply. Uh, all this hype and no source to... So this was literally... This, this dickhead was so fucking close to not being a dickhead, but he couldn't not be a dickhead. So strong is the pull, the siren song of being a fucking dickhead. Just calling to him, calling to him. Like, literally, it came out like something like 10 minutes later. Like, he just couldn't, oh, it was good. Ah, there's something out there in the sea that's making me a fucking dickhead. And there he was, all this hype and no source to is going to be the funniest shit and why would richard lewis care about the false info he doesn't even work for a journaling core anymore i don't work as a journaling yeah your opinion your opinion on journalism and of course there's the reply how's this tweet looking about now dickhead like how's it looking about now dickhead rogue ecs another one so close, fell at the last hurdle. It's really starting to sink to me that this has been a month-long April Fool's joke. Hasn't even been three weeks at this point. That even Richard Lewis joined in on. A reliable source, hard to doubt, but we get the dates of CS2 between March 1st and April 1st. The story was broken on March 6th. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe it can't be between March 1st or not. But gotta be April Fool's Jake. Oh, is that a joke? That joke, I swear. And then, you see, because to be fair, ESL did this. This is another hilarious thing that you guys probably don't realise. Like, it was so tightly wound... ESL were asking about it, like ESL staff, because they wanted to make content, and they were like, is it? Is, ooh, is it? So they, they went and did, like, a fucking spoof about a fake playtest. So the thing that I really like about Source 2 is uh, the new way the movement has improved. The, you can just the bunny hump so easy. You would like you can just get to anywhere on the map basically if you just have really good movement. I think the the movements and the new skins are very good. I would. Now keep in mind they put this out the day before it launched, and you might get to be able to walk away and like rizzle, lizzle, dizzle and say this is fine. The fact that Valve actually launched it the next day, and you as a fucking I don't know not even an april fool like it's a nearly april fool you fucking basically interviewed a bunch of pro players on a stream being watched by hundreds of thousands of people and you got them to lie about how shit cs2 is i don't know probably not a good idea esl probably not the smartest piece of fucking content you've ever made relative to the fucking timing but anyway let's just keep going i like uh 
the the movement of the like the the style and the grenade launcher is a good thing. The grenade launcher is really cool, so you can like throw the smokes and Molotovs and you know nades flashes f further than you could uh, before. I think Source 2's riot shields have been pretty cool. Bringing that back from 1.6 has been pretty incredible. It's going to be something that's going to really revolutionize pistol rounds, just deciding who's going to get the riot shields, who, who's just not going to participate at all on the CT side. So whoever gets that role, have fun. What do I like the most so far about Source 2? I think the new map, the new Mirage looks very good. And uh, I think it was time to change the map a bit. So yeah, this map looks amazing to me. I like mostly the change on connector because I have been there like for many years now. I've been like literally in the same spot for like I think 10 years. So <clears throat> it was nice to see something new and yeah, that, that whole area will probably impact the whole map. So yeah. I like Source 2 when people like can uh, run with the hands and just fight each other. Not, no knife, just hands. That, that was funny when we tried it. You can make a lot of unexpected plays with the new weaponry. So I'm looking forward to that. Finally, like the, the graphic and uh, all the stuff that they made. I mean, the new pistol, the new AK. And By the way, Zewu's got a new voice and it's great. It's f f funny to play, it's fantastic. I mean, this is different. Also, the smoke, you can net ban it, you can see, and yeah, it's, it's awesome. This game is perfect. It's gonna be perfect. Hot take for me from Source 2. I think the 16K rocket launcher was a great add. It's been something we've been wishing for ever since 1.5, saying as soon as you can get 16K, you can get a rocket launcher. You just have to open up the new menu. So I think that's incredible. Really good idea. If you're actually dominating that much to get 16K, you deserve it. Honestly, I just think the way the game feels, because CSGO has a certain feel to it. I feel Source 2 really changed that entirely and made it completely different. And I think that's what I like the most. And the guns handle nothing the same. And they completely change all the weapons too. And I just think that was a good change, a bit of freshness. The zombie mode, the zombie mode's good. Looks like a Call of Duty, but way better. I really like the hide and seek mode. Uh, competitive hide and seek is really what I'm getting into. And yeah, got to see how it goes. Unironically, they should do a hide and seek competition. That would slap, and I would watch that. I would rather watch that than a real game of CS right now, actually. Just saying, like 100%. I don't think anyone would disagree either. Uh, right, okay, back to the dickheads. Back to the collection of dickheads. Just to show you, this is me replying to a tweet. Coward Tyler McVicker deleted it. But it was a po it was his tweet for the whole no CS two isn't real and I just replied to him do me a fucking favor and stop leaking shit after you dedicated a whole video to smearing me thanks and he deleted the tweet because he's a coward let's uh, let's do this one there's, there's a lot of these guys uh, we're, we're gonna be here. there's still life in the stream we're still going um, I don't see why we should trust you in particular. Uh, you're not saying anything new, said a ton of stuff new. It's like you just took the info that is already out there. And again, obviously, that's just complete nonsense because nobody had confirmed Counter-Strike 2. Nobody had confirmed a date, etc., etc. You guys know that. You're not idiots. These people are idiots. Uh, it's like you just took the info that was already out there and stated there were some people testing it. I, yeah, nobody knew that either, right? I feel that anyone would have written this. Lol, I will take it with some skepticism. And I said, please tell me you at least feel like an idiot now. And then they replied with, I don't know who you are, though. Maybe that's the important thing. Someone said, that is the important thing. And he said, who's that dude then? Who's that dude then? We'll do the Psylocke one. I wouldn't be surprised if Richard Lewis is zero in for about uh, S2, actually. He seems like the kind of guy that takes every chance to stay relevant. You know, yeah. There's a reason people are still talking about my reporting after 19 years. It's because it's right. Um, but anyway, um, how does it feel to know this tweet is the most engagement you will ever get and you look like a fucking fool? Can't be good, mate. Brave face. And he said, you never gave me a chance to think otherwise of you because you blocked half of the CSGO community for some shit. So in other words, I don't have this cunt blocked, right? But but half the community. But I must acknowledge that the, imp uh, the impression was wrong and your journalistic integrity is impeccable but i had my moment here and he then points out he got more engagement for a tweet saying never realized there is a valorant reference on overpass pointing to a trash can proud of that one so excellent uh interestingly enough i think i tweeted out saying he was a nobody 
And somebody tweeted this. It should be pleased to know. And nobody doesn't have 15,000 followers. There you go. 15,000 is now the new threshold for celebrity. You'd be pleased to know. There was this one. I jokingly said, still waiting for the apology thread. Never manifested, of course. We never got an apology thread. We got loads of threads saying I was wrong, saying I was a cunt. Loads of comments saying I was a cunt. I was a liar. You know, I was having a laugh. I was playing an April Fool's joke. Got this one here. In reply, I said, oh, you know, like, where's the apology thread? And he said, I'm sorry you're an intellectual fraud, Richard. Maybe next time you should be posting in the daily tech threads. Put some time into the game and get into that beta. Being a gaming journalist means you have to not be dog shit at games. Not games journalist, but also doesn't mean that at all. And an intellectual fraud for reasons, I mean. Someone even posted this after I was proven right. This was Richard Lewis's blog, not a report, a blog, uh, was just an attempt to stay relevant. Uh, well, which one is it, guys? Am I not relevant or am I staying relevant? Which one? Decide. Few people debating some stuff about, you know, the details. He basically said that I'd robbed everything from Gabe Follower, is the premise of this post. The user's deleted it, so it doesn't show up in, in RevEdit. But just to clarify, he said, uh, I had my doubts about the CS2 rebrand because it was internally called CSGO Source 2, but you were totally right. And he even posted in that thread saying, don't do that, don't be an arsehole. So even the people that I supposedly stole from are saying that I'm right. Oh, I forgot this little bit of trivia. Uh, one guy thought he'd cracked the fucking code. He'd found an account on Steam and said, Richard Lewis is one of the developers 100%. This is the little troll we did on, on Discord. Uh, and you can see they found an account that just had the name Richard and had the, like, fedora on it. And you can see that, obviously, I love playing CSGO and Poker Championship. And just because he saw the name Richard, and obviously we, uh, please could you delete this with a little prayer hands? We did that one. It was, that was fun. We did that on stream, but we'll put there because this is going to be a video. We'll, we'll put it in for completion's sake. Because I was tweeting at people and saying, what about today, dickhead? This guy said I was playing the victim after being right, and it's incredible. Maybe move on. Maybe the cunts who were sending me abusive messages for weeks could have moved on. Uh, but no, you couldn't, because, you know, you were worried that finally, we've got him, we finally got him. He's going to be wrong this time. For fucking sure, for realsies, for definite, we've got him. Why don't I deserve an apology when I'm right? Well, this incredible time for pancakes, uh, definitely a genius, said, to be honest, you are an egoistic prick. You block people who are more relevant than you. I block losers like you. You would never be more relevant than me if you lived to be 500 years old, mate. This is the intellectual capacity we're dealing with here. Uh, because you think you deserve more praise. You constantly imply gamers are stupid. You're not exactly fucking helping that case be disproved, are you? Uh, because they don't lick your ass. I'm not discrediting your work, but I can't respect the dickhead like you. And of course, you click on his account and he's a CSGO investor. He's a skins weirdo so obviously his respect is utterly fucking worthless like all the other skins weirdos that are just a bunch of losers this was in reply to deserto's tweet which also had some bangers this guy said the sources that gave the info what sources another guy who can't understand why somebody leaking information might want to be anonymous what what sources you just state over and over that lewis has a source and they are never mentioned revealed shut the fuck up unless you have absolutely undeniable proof and stop taking random people's murmurings as fact fuckheads what about now then what about now what about now that everything i fucking said was right like what about now what about now and no reply no self-awareness nothing just morons against utter fucking gibbering morons in this community like right some of the other stuff fuck me can't believe there's still more by the way tweeting at people that said i was wrong said i was a liar said i was 100 percent making it up for clicks and relevancy Right? Well, 
You know what that is, don't you? What's the word everybody use, uses when anybody, like, tweets a reply? If you tweet more than two replies... Remember, if you're a fucking loser, if you're a nobody, you can sit on fucking Twitter all day tweeting. Nye, nye, nye. You know, I've had people literally send me, like, 60 tweets in an hour. They're fine. They're normal. They're not deranged. But if you reply to any of the tweets because, uh, as somebody of substance, he's having a meltdown! It's a meltdown! He's having a meltdown, everybody. Look at the meltdown. It's not just a series of replies. It's a meltdown. He's having a meltdown. Like, it's like they're just a bunch of NPCs, man. Like, they just use the same fucking language over and over and over again. But anyway, bro is going berserk on Twitter. Literally, the replies I just showed you, basically. Berserk. Dude needs therapy 30 years ago. I miss the days when people were just mauled in private. Remember, this is HLTV. Look at all the abuse that came my way from HLTV. There's still some threads I haven't even brought up yet. He's acting like a child yet, because I'm fucking right. I'm right, and cunts like you said I'm wrong. I don't give a fuck if you think it's childish. I'm right. There's my fucking big hairy nuts, you fucking losers. You harassed me for fucking weeks, pricks like you. I had to turn my messages off for the first fucking time in Twitter history because of cunts like you. Because losers couldn't handle that I might be right about a video game update so guess what yes all you people who were wrong fuck you fuck you forever i actually am not kidding like i i, I think you're worthless i think you're worthless that that is my absolute assessment of you if you couldn't just walk on by and go oh richard lewis is reporting a story never been wrong guess we'll wait and see if you couldn't just do that fuck you forever fuck you for eternity i hope your soul is tortured in eternal damnation just as well none of it's real isn't it just well none of that wacky bullshit people believe is real but i would pray for it every fucking day if i thought it was because you cunts are pathetic see he isn't wrong though those people shit on him and it turns out he is right and everyone's going what did striker do well we've established what striker did what didn't striker do it's all okay if he just sticks to journalism instead of trying to be an analyst. Again, this is God Emperor of Mankind. When was the last time I was an analyst? The last time I was an analyst was 2016. I haven't been an analyst since 2016. I haven't done any analysis on a broadcast since 2016. I haven't done any analysis even in like a video. Because remember, I can't do analysis because I don't understand the game. And I don't understand the game because I wasn't a pro. Yet your favorite analyst right now who gets like a million views on a video who's saying, and this was a smoke you could throw. And this was a smoke you could throw. And this was a smoke you could throw. As if I couldn't figure that out. As if my brain is so withered I couldn't figure out that like smokes on Mirage are different. He's your favorite. Never, never a pro player got no reputation but you all fucking suck him off because you're just hypocrites you know what i mean it's just pathetic but anyway so it's stop trying to be an analyst don't even try to do that like in fact as i said i remember when i was an analyst in 2014 something else i'll never forgive the community for at a low point friends just killed himself you were all telling me to kill myself why because i got hired to be an analyst so the choice was say no to work in a major and not work a major which would have been better for my mental health or work a major and have the community abuse me so yeah i guess i shouldn't try to be an analyst my bad richard lewis has hated HLTV for 15 years because it was more... So what, what has this got to do with, with Stryker? Stryker's not contributed to HLTV's success in any way. He's a pleb. He's a peon. He doesn't break stories. He, he's a data entry guy. He just types up other things that have already happened and says really milk toast things on a podcast which is held up by Sponge, the only person with a fucking personality on that podcast. So you've contributed nothing to the success of HLTV. I might hate people like fucking Nomad because they're pricks, but they built a really successful and important website. He has hated it for 15 years because it was the more successful 1.6 site when he himself was running the cesspool that was cadred.org, which is pretty much the biggest site for Source, I think. It isn't anything new. Great journalist, acts like a clown. None of the other people who've been wrong about me, calling me out, making videos smearing me, saying my reputation's ruined, saying I killed my career. None of those people are clowns, you will notice. It's only me who is the clown, 
right? He's been this he's been this way ever since the CAD dread days. Still the same, never matured. I still remember his arguments with Nomad, which had to be some of the most ridiculous outbursts I've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, like, we just had one the other day because he was crying about me using a picture that I took from a Creative Commons tab on Google and someone else had cropped an HLTV logo out. It's not me who looks like a cunt. Huge clown. Haha, <laughs> RL is just pathetic. None of the people that said I was wrong when I was right are pathetic, of course. It's a meltdown. He's had a meltdown. This stream will be called a meltdown. It's all one big meltdown. This was the HLTV thread from the day I announced it. So we've got a ton of stuff in here as well. So again, just don't, this is the sheer scale of the nonsense I had to put up with, right? So you go, Richard Lewis confirmed source too. This was the day I put the story out. Totally forgot that, right? Here you go. Can't close the please subscribe to newsletter thing. What a shit site. Not going to read that article. It's like a button. It literally says continue reading. He couldn't figure that out. I don't think you're my audience, mate. It literally has a button to continue reading in the middle of the pop-up. Not reading till the middle of the pop-up. Why should I faster to just close the tab? He then follows it up with going, Bro, why would I give a flying fuck about pop-ups? Most of them are harmful, by the way, and lead you to malware. So it's not a pop-up ad. It's just something that says, Hey, like what you're reading? Want to subscribe? That's it. I have all of them either blocked or closed the page before they redirect me to their shitty ad sites. If I'd really wanted to read it, I can use uBlock to get rid of it. You, It wouldn't even work with uBlock. It's a feature of the site that I specifically add to the articles. It's not an ad. So, anyway. And then somebody said, agreed. Don't submerge to their shit rules. Yes, we must rise up against Substack, guys. Uh, we've got to rise up. This is G2 Best again. Richard is a clown. This is when, and he goes, yes, the journalist who has never had to issue a retraction or ever gotten a story wrong. And then this guy links to an article that said, I said on stream, your kinder was joining Na'Vi. And I think I did say your kinder had had talks with Na'Vi because he did have talks with Na'Vi. It was an option they explored, but I never wrote it up or reported it, right? So, but that's me. Someone else is reporting that I didn't write is me getting a story wrong. Says something wrong. He isn't wrong. His sources are. Says something right. He is right. Hypocrisy at its finest. High level stuff. It's a bad bait. Why would they risk giving up the skin market? When did I say anything about that, by the way? When did I ever fucking say the skins market was going to close? The skins tards were in my fucking DMs nonstop. Should I sell? You took my skins, I kill you! For fuck's sake. This is from Pigface. Pigface is an HLTV user from Cambodia, apparently. Probably a false flagger. And uh, he just turns up in threads saying Richard Lewis is drunk. That's all he ever says. Of course he will say this. He said this like six months ago too. And that's why VLR had to make franchise leagues law. I never said that. Like, do, what, what does that even mean? Like, what does that mean? Like, what, when, when did I ever say CS2 was coming out and that's why Valorant has to make franchise leagues? When did I say that? Like, my guy Richie got paid from Valve to... Uh, strong uptake for this as well. I read this comment a lot. To hype up the community for the next big Valve trolling session. Guys, don't hold your breath. Maybe in five years. You can hold your breath, mate. You can hold your breath right fucking now, I think. I'm, I'm okay with that. Fucking clown. The issues with Richard Lewis begin when he starts talking about the esports scene or contact. So I can't talk about any of those things, apparently. That's an issue. These guys can. They can talk about anything they want, but not me. The guy said G2 wouldn't achieve anything, so why would anyone believe him? Nice win at Pro League, dickhead. And of course, this guy points out, Lagger 15 says, so did all the other analysts. They literally did say that, by the way. Greasy Rick doesn't know anything. I'll believe it when it's in the Steam store. You're not getting access, are you, you fucking losers? Or you're never going to get to play it, and your PC isn't good enough anyway, you cunt. So I wouldn't worry about it, mate. But yeah, believe it now, dickhead. We got a little bit of praise off a Brazilian, so it's worth 
Norting. Richard Lewis, say what you want about his takes, but he's a legit journalist in a world of hacks, and no one can take that away from him. Then Vermin Supreme says I'm a legend, and if Vermin Supreme says I'm a legend, then that's it. It's all been worth it, guys. All the abuse, all the harassment, all the fucking smear tactics, all the nonsense, all the lies, or being put under a microscope again, it's all good. It's all good. This guy says, people need to learn how journalism works and stop following social media clowns and influencers who make money by lying. And then someone replies and says, well, RL also passes as a social media clown and has a substack. But when he's not having a Twitter meltdown, like, I hardly fucking tweet, guys, because I've just realized people are not worth interacting with at all. But there was no way I was going to let this one go. There's no way. Why couldn't, why, like, why? I just don't even understand the rules at this point. Everyone gets to call me a cunt and, and, and say I'm wrong, even when I'm right. And if I point out I was right, I don't get to do that because that makes me worse than if I just was wrong, apparently. Like, mental. He's basically always having a Twitter meltdown. Uh, that's the, the assessment there. Richard Lewis, legit journalist, lol them out. He was still wrong. How? It's not releasing in March. The article said the beta would release in March, and that's exactly what happened. This guy, I think, has a bit of a long argument in this thread about it. This is the guy, Taylor Swift is God. Everything he's ever written on political issues has been a hilariously and embarrassingly wrong without exception. He's not a good journalist. He's a joke. Like what? And then he links to like three of my sub stacks, which by the way, they're opinion pieces, but contained within the opinion pieces, I would love this utter loser, right? This Democrat acolyte. I would like this guy to go through and pick out anything that is factually wrong in those articles. There's absolutely no way. Most based person in the thread. He is a journalist and that's why he's a joke i can get on board with that actually that's fine hear all the journalists here's this no quarter guy so let's do it this is amazing so remember i told you the no quarter guys in all these threads about me right here you go thorin is a good troll with a sense of humor he's witty and does not give a fuck but richard lewis is just a narcissist who gets triggered by everything i like one i do not like the other because every sentence starts with i knew it before you i told you you are all dumb i am smart i am best he also does not look half presentable in his videos also his mental health issues do not look like they are under control this guy by the way is about to say something that's objectively a delusion talking about mental health the classic the people who think they are arbiters of, of of who is mentally sound are always people who are just like they say things that are like so divorced from reality they need medication not shaming here just generally unpleasant to watch which is the bare definition of mental health issues you feel unpleasant watching that i do not care about your connections if you cannot make a presentable presentation because that's also a big part of the job and it's why i blocked rl he he blocked he says he blocked me because i'm unpresentable like I, i'm scruffy his opinions are terrible and he clickbaits too much with bullshit next rl video insert current hot topic is trash thumbnail is always the same 10 year old photo of him in the same suit while he can't even be bothered to spend a minute to trim his beard for the video because when everyone you meet is stupid dickhead etc and you were the only one who was smart also being perpetually mad about a video game i don't even play the game i, I don't care about the game is an awful persona at least hoping that his persona not too much hope though thorin is informative while being fun to watch rl is a loud man child i do not understand why people put them in the same can you brought both of us up at the same time to compare us so i don't understand why you put us in the same can thorin understands entertainment i do not think rl does maybe on some level before his content he understands clickbaiting and drama and that's it so let's just have a look at his very real and not psychologically disturbed claims about my thumbnails where i am always using the same 10 year old picture spoiler griff always takes a picture of me from the video when he makes the thumbnail so every thumbnail is me in the video as i look in the video for the current video that's literally how it works but he's blocked me 
on social media because he can't handle looking at me being too unpresentable and I hide how unpresentable I am by using old photos of myself in a suit. So let's just have a look, shall we? This is it's Richard Lewis's channel, right? Richard Lewis's channel. This is my channel, right? So that's who he's in. Wasn't me, right? That's there, right? Their watch has ended. I actually look relatively presentable there. The beard is trimmed. Um, that's Gary Lineker in the thumbnail, because that's a video about Gary Lineker. This one a little bit scruffier, uh, but I'm in the thumbnail. I'm not in a suit. Uh, this is another one where I'm trimmed. Uh, live evil, when you take living evil too literally. This one's a little bit scruffier. This is uh, me talking about World of Warcraft, but that's me in the video. This is a trimmed one. This is when I w announced I was joining Substack. This is me looking pretty swish, actually. I like that. That's I've got everything trimmed. Uh, it's about as good as I'm ever going to look. I guess I'm a hideous chud. What can you do? Uh, you can see there as well, like Megadeth t-shirt, looking pretty good, reading glasses on, a Prem review, everything trimmed there, been trimmed here for my, with a Deftones t-shirt on. Where Where's the suit? Where's the 10-year-old suit? Got a sweater on there, Bukowski t-shirt there. Very untrimmed beard there. Well, it's trimmed, it's just long, not Jackie levels. North FC t-shirt there. Where, where, where? Where's the where's the suit? Where's the ten year old picture of me in a suit? This is seven months I've gone back. It, it's not once. Here we go. Do you think he maybe looked at time travel lan? And because we used a uniform thumbnail for that, but that's not ten years old. And my beard is very trimmed in that picture. And that's the lightest I'd been in years. And that's like a brand new suit. And it's tailored. That's from Stockholm. So, Rip Bozo. So, I, I, I just don't really, don't really get it. Don't get what, what he's looking at. That's, I, no, I don't even know what that is on the Overwatch League in shambles one. It sort of looks like, it, I think it's meant to be a Pog Champ face, but it actually just looks like I'm about to give a really girthy dude a blowjob. So, I don't know, actually. That's like, that actually does just look like I'm about to take a fucking mighty penis, like. Maybe, maybe that upset him. Any, anyway, point being, it's not true. Like, it's objectively not true. Like I, 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 like, I can't believe somebody's going to talk about mental health and that's like literally like their reality. You know, like, it's so fucking crazy. I blocked him because his beard is scruffy. That sounds like a normal fucking thing. Uh, anyway, he continues. Some of his own thoughts or opinions are absolutely trash, but you don't need to be a good human to be a good journalist. I love this as well. People always say this, and then you go, "What is it like?" It, like all the dickheads on Twitter who go, "I, you know, I don't always agree with Richard Lewis, but he's damn fine." What don't you agree with me? Uh, they never say. It. They never say. It. What is it? I. What opinions do I hold that are so objectionable? No one can ever qualify them. They always say, oh, "I don't want to get into it, mate," because you don't know what opinions I hold. Basically, you're just you just know I'm not a good person, so you just want a virtue signal that we're not cool. That's all it ever is. Nice to see some dickheads, strong up tip dickheads. Uh, Richard Lewis victim complex is showing. Boy, you need some therapy. Common fat substack man W. Just even my fans insult me. Great. A fat traumatized man child. That that is the one. That's the winner there. Like a fat traumatized man child. Let's fucking go. Like let's fucking go. Let like seriously. Somebody just clip this bit. Mom, mother, I never call you mom because I'm not American. But if I, if for some reason I do die before you, just, it's okay. Put that on the tombstone. That's priceless. That's fucking hilarious. But you're 100% burying me. Don't cremate me because then you don't go to heaven. So <laughs> it's spoiler. They don't tell you that. It's You, you don't you don't go up to the clouds you, you, if you burn yourself. Don't do it. But a fat, traumatized man child. Just put that on the tombstone. Perfect. Don't even put my name on it. Don't even put my dates on it. A fat, traumatized man child. It's perfect. Somebody, this guy as well, the most based person. Remember the person who said, hate all the journalists? He then did a quote from Soren Kierkegaard, hating on journalists. He said, if I were a father and had a daughter who became a prostitute, I should not despair over her. I would continue to hope for her salvation. But if I had a son who became a journalist and continued to be one for five years, I would give him up. It's what a quote. I love this guy. Based as fuck. This guy's a legend. You're actually all right. 
Dr. Lee. Banned from his chat, so fuck him. Same as Thorin, he is own worst enemy. He is a man-child. G2 best again. Keeping the thread alive. I like how everyone hated that man, but since he was right about CS2, everyone jumps on the train of him being a legend and great journalist. Let me tell you a secret. Real journalist and man won't block half the Twitter community the moment they try to tell him something or give their opinion. Your opinion's worthless. You have, to, you have to understand. Your opinion, to me, is worthless. I don't value you in any way, shape, or form. I never need to hear a thought in your head. I never need to have a formulated idea. Somebody said this to me on Twitter the other day, actually. It was fucking great. They said... Um, you shouldn't block people. And I said, why not? You're a cretin. Why Why should I be forced to listen to you? Why should I be compelled to listen to you? And they said, well, some of my, I, I met some of my best friends and they were, and I thought they were idiots and I disagreed with them at first. So now it's like, what? I have to be open to making friends with everybody on the fucking internet. I don't want to be your friends. Like, I do not want to be a friend of someone called Phil CZE on HLTV. An utter moron. An utter, utter moron. What are we going to talk about? Let's go on a play date, shall we? Let's go for drinks. What are we going to talk about? What What do we talk about? All oh, right, okay. Yeah, you're you're emotionally invested in a video game. R right, okay, cool. You read any good books lately? Oh, you don't do that. Okay, right. Yeah. What about movies? Oh, okay, you like John Wick, do you? Right, all right. Yeah, yeah. They do shoot a lot of people. Yeah, I guess it would be cool if there was a video game of John Wick, even though John Wick is itself sort of a video game, just in cinematic form. That's a really good idea. Oh, you never thought about that, had you not? Oh, okay, right, yeah. Yeah, I'll get the I'll get the drinks here. Yeah, brilliant. What a fucking great night that'll be, talking to you fucking dickheads. That'll be wicked. That'll be so much fun for me. It won't be like a form of torture at all. Like, He is good journalist. But his CS takes are horrific and a complete man-child. Very insecure. Quick reminder. Here we go. This is a good one. That R. Lewis accused Doc of cheating years ago and ruined any chance of a decent team picking him up. I've never, still to this day, that is not true. Never accused him of cheating. Said there was loads of question marks about him. And probably, like, that shit he was doing where he wasn't calling. There was another guy on the call. But, and the guy was, like, calling on his behalf by looking at the screen. Probably all very dubious. Probably knowing people who've, like, corded cheats. Probably not ideal. But he doesn't want to be a pro. Like, it's like I said at the time, no one will ever need to know his name because he's never going pro. He's not going to do it. Then they did this. Someone typed lol. I love this because this happens all the time on Reddit as well. I see so many accounts get replied to. Like, it happens to Jester now. And loads of people, like, reply to him going, yeah, Richard. <laughs> It's so dumb. But anyway, hey, Richard, perhaps a long overdue apology is an order. Yeah, you're talking to me, mate. I'm in the room with you right now. I'm in the fucking room with you right now, you fucking moron. Every account that you interact with that doesn't share your opinion about me is me. That's literally how it works. I'm Dr. fucking Manhattan. I'm Dr. Manhattan with a big blue penis, and I can divide myself up into every other account on the fucking internet, right? So when they disagree and go, hey, maybe Richard Lewis isn't all that bad, it's really me the only people in the world who could think i might be okay is me on other accounts that's it that's how exactly you've cracked it mate that's 100 percent how it works you fucking idiot loser he acts like he deserves a medal for getting and reporting it like no one fucking cares oh you all cared when you thought it was wrong like of course respected journalists don't get angry when they don't earn prestige that's that no no journalist has ever been angry about people harassing them definitely that's never happened actually you're, you're totally right mediocre self-proclaimed journalist absolutely irrelevant currently oh i don't know kind of feels a bit relevant that i dropped that fucking story and your fucking precious little website despite literally doing a podcast with one of the people who tested it couldn't put together any contextual fucking clues and crack the code before i did but yeah congrats you got a beta game release date right contemporary genius somebody points out why do you get to disqualify him according to who He's a mediocre loser who came, who first came in the scene and unfortunately never left. 
The only reason he was relevant is because nobody wanted to do that back then. He ma nobody wanted to be on television, guys. He managed to lose every single position that was ever offered to him. The E-League horse job literally left that to make a fucking f small fortune, like doing a Vegas production company. He, so didn't lose that, literally left. Next season, he was out because he was an incompetent baboon. Uh, it was there for two and a half years, but next season. Who does nothing other than gaslight shit and trash talk the people who actually work. A figure who only gets spotlight over controversy should never... What's controversial about me being right about CS2? What's what's controversial about that? Can anyone answer it? Oh, no, you're just a fucking moron. Just a Canadian moron. It's fine. You have no clue what you're talking about. I couldn't care less about that ape. Okay, good. Definitely seem a bit invested. Is that it? Is that all the HL TV? No, of course it isn't. Why would it be? This unfortunately got nuked before it could get good. Tied on the vine, it had so much potential. Richard Lewis is a scammer! Lol, he's such a scammer. Said CS2 will be released by April 1st. He said by his words, full alpha game, the, the word alpha does not appear. I am not Andrew Tate. The word alpha does not appear uh, in my report. Not beta by April 1st, even though it's released on summer. He just leaked a leak that has already been leaked. Mate, I can, I can make my mother's famous fucking leak crumble with all these fucking leaks, mate. We could have a right old fucking Welsh knees up with this. He's just leaked a leak that's already been fucking leaked. He's fucking leaked. We've got any fucking leaks on the allotment, Bert? A fucking leak of a leak. Ridiculous. Just researched all infos, including NVIDIA's leak, and act like that was his source. I mean, I specifically didn't. I gave credit to that. It was five days before I published my report. All of this for clout and attention. Sounds like something Thorin would do. So, again, he's just fucking... He's just gone full. He's done the full circle. Get a life. Does the hilarious joke... Where can I get one? Is there a specific store? Will they deliver it to my home address? Just a few people have access to the game. R. Lewis said game will be released fully in March. That's not true. Said the beta will be released. It is. It's currently in beta. Someone even quotes it saying the tentative release date for the beta is in this is in the month of March with April 1st at the outside. So. But sadly, I didn't get that one when it had like another 500 comments. Because all of everything I ever say obviously generates the the most attention. Yeah, go on then. I'll add this on. This is just going to be a bumper. It's like I told you, I'm taking all the fucking souls. All of the fucking souls. By the way, right? Is blocking people on Twitter bad? I, I heard it was bad, right? If you block somebody on Twitter, you're a man-child and a loser, right? Like, we've established that, yeah? They're the rules. I don't make the rules. One bite, everybody knows the rules. I don't make the rules, right? So I'm just super curious about whether or not we get to, like, ho like hold that standard. Because what's that? What does that say when I look at Striker's Twitter account? So, I don't know. Like, which is it like? Is, it a, is, he, is he a pathetic fucking loser man-child now? Is that where we're at? Yeah? Or no, is it okay for him to block people? See, I don't give a fuck. Like, like say, I don't care. Like, the irony of him blocking me is I would, n I never would want to see a tweet by him because they just, it's like harmful to your brain cells. Like, he literally can't understand basic premises, you know? So, you know, I drink enough as it is. <laughs> like I'm, I'm already killing up. I don't need striker tweets on top of whiskey and fucking weed and everything else. Like you know, my brain cells are fighting. They're up there. Like ah, you bollocks, yeah. You know, fucking, they're fighting for their lives. I don't need to add fucking, you know. And he does look like Ali G a bit. You're right. He does look like that. Anyway, apparently it's fine. Uh, I'm blocked now. I'm blocked. I'll never see strikers' uh, incredible takes ever again. Right. Um, which is very sad. Big Sag, as they say. But it's worth pointing out, right? Because Stryker wrote that thing where it was like, according to Richard Lewis, right? According to Richard Lewis. Yeah, according to me. According to me, right? And I had people fucking gaslight me and say, oh, he went on the podcast and he said, if Richard Lewis was reported, he didn't say anything. Now, I, 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 I sat through the terrible episode where I announced it. They basically said my name begrudgingly in it. They, you know, they were just like, oh, well, Richard Lewis has a good record or whatever. Like, yeah, of course I do, right? So, so yeah, I called him out by name 
because it's utterly ridiculous that they made a headline basically designed to invoke the type of shit that I got for, for days. And they knew what they were doing and they relished it. They fucking loved that they were doing that to me. They loved that they were doing that to me because they couldn't break a story to save their fucking lives. Special shout out to the dickhead striker who brought the long-standing policy HLTV has. Remember, I showed you it. I showed you how many stories of mine they've covered in all that time, right? Uh, has of not actually acknowledging my work is legitimate, but published this hoping I'd be made a fool of. Imagine being the biggest CS website and not landing this scoop, right? Now, he got upset by this. I don't know why. It's fair comment. It clearly got under his skin, which is fucking hilarious, right? So hang on, I'll, I'll find you the tweets. Imagine being so delusional and think I wrote something just to make a fool like Richard Lewis. Oh, you never would do that, would you? Oh, love me over at HLTV. A beef you adopted. You literally had no issue to be beefing with me at all, but you couldn't help yourself because you think, oh, HLTV. Yeah, it's the best thing you'll ever do, mate. It's the most important thing you'll ever do. Yeah, you're right about that. You probably are right to wear it like a fucking badge of pride. Because it's the peak for you, mate. There's no TV appearances for you. There's no books for you. You're not going to be lecturing at a fucking university. None of that happens. You just get to be a data entry clerk for HLTV. So, yeah, I get it. Well done, right? But there you go. Imagine being so delusional to think I wrote something just to make a fool out of Richard Lewis. Despite his continued barrage against me personally. I mean, by the way, saying it's personal, mate, implies you have a fucking personality. So, you know, I mean, I, I, you, can, you can pretend if you want, I suppose. But I have continued to respect his work and his track record. So when I saw his report, I knew it has to be accurate, right? So we just fucking... So, all right, okay. He'll leave it there. He's not too upset. He's not too upset, right? Somebody waded in and said, listen, he's a very important journalist, right, to our scene. You know, even if people don't like him, don't vibe with his, don't vibe with him personally. But nope, strike, you couldn't let it. He said, true, but for all his journalistic standards, he can't see past his own negative biases towards us for everything. Why do I not get to be biased towards you? I think you're a twat. So why don't I get to, why, what, I have to pretend you're not one. I have to pretend you're not one. Like, I, as I said there, like, I replied to him and I said, gormless cretin who can't grasp what a conflict of interest is talks about biases it's staggering really it is staggering it's staggering that you don't understand like conflict of interest so when like a team plays its academy team at a tournament you tweet out it's okay because no one would ever fix a match in counter-strike unironically what you said right those orgs wouldn't do it we already had the biggest org in america do it and get convicted for doing it but we should just give everyone a pass if they're famous enough that's literally his conceptualization of conflict of interest right so he thinks me being biased towards him is bad but a conflict of interest doesn't register on his brain so i mean brilliant that's the guy by the way writing news then he tweeted again later right saying he was deeply affected by it i don't watch this video mate you'll be fucking you'll be very upset i really wish i wasn't so affected by this but it can get frustrating to see continual questioning of my integrity right so i'm, I'm dude i'm let's be absolutely clear right it's i don't think it's an integrity issue i think you're just a moron and i think when people are dumb they or they they might accidentally have lapses of integrity because they don't realize things that's where i put you i don't think you're evil i think you're an idiot you continually prove yourself to be an idiot like i said these are very simple concepts to grasp things like oh, you can't do it it's very simple by the way to just why not just say yeah we put richard's name in the headlines we thought it'd be banter i'll fucking take that all day you want some banter let's have some banter but you don't like banter do you you can't handle banter at all so uh, i really wish i wasn't so affected by this i'm sure you'll get over it mate i'm sure you'll get over it but it can get frustrating to see continuous questioning of my integrity when it's so deeply rooted in a completely delusional conspiracy and a 15 year old beef i wasn't even part of i know you're not part of it mate and yet you've adopted it you weren't born in the beef you merely adopted it i don't know why you did that I don't know. That's your brain, not mine. I've been totally cool with you from the fucking start. You'll notice I've got no issue with Professor. It's weird that, isn't it? Fuck all that noise. I'm here to enjoy the hype. And of course, he got access and then did a dog shit stream where it was like, oh, look at me running around giving my opinions. And everybody said, wow, this is great content. People on the HLTV forums didn't like that I called him, called him out. 
and said he was very transparently doing what he was doing. So they made a thread, and in, as they do over there, they do the Trump thing, don't they? I'm going to come. Uh, striker, come. Come here. They do that over there, like, to catch your attention. Yeah, it's one of those staples. Striker did nothing to him. And he's already throwing punches. Get off Twitter for a bit, RL. Oh, no, no, no. I think he did do something to me. I think that news post was absolutely fucking pathetic and transparent in its motivations. And me having to deal with arseholes like you for weeks, th there's nothing worth that. There's not, by the way, there is nothing more insufferable than interacting with esports fans. It's just the truth. They are cretins. They are, they are not even operating on the same level as sports fans. The average esports fan makes like football twitter look like fucking socrates it's a joke and so every time they're fucking stirred up and it's like they're encouraged to interact with me it just doesn't improve my life at all it just doesn't improve my life so when you write a fucking headline right when you write a fucking headline if it's wrong go get richard lewis you may as well have just called it that guess what your cretinous readers do for weeks why so toxic RL is a known little bitch. If Thorin didn't exist, he'd be the littlest bitch in the history of CS. Looks like someone got blocked. Who hasn't? <laughs> it was blocked then. Yeah. He's such a bitch, he blocks people who like replies to the screen. Don't even think I've ever done that. Like, don't think I've ever done that. That would mean I'd have to actually read your tweet. Or rather, read more than one. I mean, this is just great. Imagine being the biggest CS website and not landing this scoop. What did he mean by this? It couldn't be more fucking plain. Like, I don't get it. Like, I, if you can't understand that, like, like why, why, why even read a news website? Like, why, why would you even read a news website if you can't understand like basic premises, like what a scoop is and stuff like that? Like, just don't bother. Like, just don't bother. Just fill your head with other things. Like, thanks for source too, like Richard. But now it's time for you to go back to sucking Thorin off twenty four seven. Literally, how long has it been since stopped don't buy the numbers? Now, it must be coming up to a year. But I, I, I guess I suck him off twenty four seven. Obviously. The only reason he's doing this is because Thorin cried about HLTV letting him use their photos. Is his friend sad? Literally nothing to do with that. He gets hate from nobodies and that justifies bashing Striker for no reason? Oh, Sanos, if only you could understand how the two were linked. How your cesspit of a website where people like you congregate get told Richard Lewis has said something. So, you know, and ha -ha, it would be super wacky, wouldn't it, if he was wrong? Ah, ha, ha, ah, ha. And then suddenly I have to deal with cunts like you. I, I never posted on HLTV. Never posted. Can't be asked with it. Couldn't actually. They preemptively banned me when they gave me my my streamer account over there. They preemptively banned me for ten years because they're super mature. By the way, they're the good guys, right? So I couldn't if I wanted to, which I don't. But just think about it for a second, guys. If you can't, can you see the connection? No, you can't. Obviously, you can't. Sanos, never mind. Joke is, his name is Richard, and he's calling other dicks. I'm calling him a dickhead, but I suppose, guess it kind of works. Grown man acting like man-child. RL is such an annoying creature. He sounds like a pure narcissist, not like someone who refers to other human beings as creatures, of course, who isn't trying to help esports whatsoever, but trying to boost his own ego. Never done anything to help esports ever, of course. Richard Lewis's biggest projection is mental illness. There you go. And then, the mystery is solved, by the way. Do you remember how No Quarter said, I always use a 10-year-old picture of me in my thumbnails. Remember that guy? He's back. And guess what he says about the article on HLTV that I did not post, did not write, and did not choose the photo for. His picture on the article is 10 years old, question mark. So understand, his mental illness worked like this. He saw the report HLTV made using a picture of me from E-League doing up my jacket. E-League was 2016, so not 10 years. He then decided that because HLTV had used that picture, I always use that picture on my thumbnails on YouTube, the thumbnails that I do control and choose, even though there isn't a single one because HLTV used a photo that I do not control or choose. 
That is how mentally ill that person is. And again, they're just out there on the internet typing things, typing opinions. That's all fine, I guess. Not a problem. Let's sum it up. This is the first big news he ever actually got right. Made a victim of himself on a scenario he made up in his head. Then attacked a journalist that actually is a journalist and is a reputable source, unlike him. That's, again, failed CZE who thinks I shouldn't block people like him when they type things like this unironically. A guy replies, he is a journalist, like, and he said, a journalist is an individual that collects and gathers information in form of text, audio, or pictures, processes them in a newsworthy form, and disseminates it to the public. Okay, right, so far so good, you think, but... RL blocks people on Twitter that don't even know him based on likes. I don't. He's not spreading the news into the public when people are literally blocked from viewing his content. Meaning, he chooses who will see it, a.k.a. not the public. Like, I, I don't know. Do, 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 do people like this really just... You know, they, they're out there with jobs and they get to drive and stuff, I guess. I guess that's all fine. And yes, I take account of his Twitter because nobody is actually viewing his substack. You'll notice you can just go straight to the substack. A night and, and subscribe to it, and I'm not going to block you doing that. And 90% of his article audience goes from his Twitter sharing. I'm not too sure, actually. I could literally get that number, but it's not 90%. You may think I'm total idiot based on what I've said, oh, oh, oh yes, but it is like this. And if you deny the fact that his Twitter isn't the main source of his news views, then you are delusional, same as you think about me. He then goes on to say, somebody points out he's done all of these other stories, he said, um, you are a fanboy. I got blocked for correcting the journalist's mistake. So again, this utter cretin thinks he can ever correct me on anything. Like, there's not, I've, I've never made a mistake that you would pick up on, put it that way. Like, let's just be clear, you are a moron. You are an actual fucking functional moron, a medical level of stupidity. Like, it, 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 it's over for you before it began. You're on the scrap heap of life like you're just you, it's so fucked up it's sad almost but you definitely get to correct me even though you don't even interface with reality in any way shape or form and then goes to be honest i didn't know he brought the eye by power story also you're very informed about my career then helping players fight against shitty orgs is shaming every org for whatever he finds won't somebody think of the abusive organizations Man child, man child, we've got a man child. Guy is acting as if he made Source 2. Funnily enough, multiple DMs I got suggested I was, yeah. RL and Thorin is same picture. Better to be magnanimous in victory. Definitely not. Get your fuck all, who cares? If they were face to face, I bet RL would have tried to strangle Striker. He is super cocky after his article. Or grumpy man with problems. Common dick hard Lewis W. So they're calling me dick hard now. The fans. Dick hard. Dick hard Lewis. There's still more. Uh, before I lighten the mood. One of the funny things, right, about me breaking the story was all of the games journalists couldn't report on it. Because the games journalists can't ever acknowledge that I exist. Because the games journalists don't like me. Because I didn't get gaslit about what Gamergate was. Right? And what you, if you are in the games journalist clique, you have to keep selling the lie that there was some, like, organized digital militia uh, that were led by, like, all these, like, terrible people. And, you know... And, and 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 we were all in Steve Bannon's Putin-funded army, and we all came for the game journalists because you know they were tr they would never do they weren't doing anything wrong like lying or taking like essentially bribes from games development companies. They weren't doing any of those things that we've been complaining about since like 2012 onwards. But in actuality, it was all just because of their progressive values, and it was to keep, you know, minority groups and women and no, 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 and all out games. That that's what you're supposed to believe. Because it wasn't like that; it never was like that. But anyway, because I 
again engage with reality rather than just what a, a a fake narrative created by a cabal so they could like retain some sort of semblance of influence and power in a dying media form for a little bit longer the games journalists can't acknowledge that i exist and it's really hard for them because occasionally i break a banger that crosses over into the games world and so they always have to do these weird little caveats like loads of people loads of publications didn't report on cs2 until it dropped because they didn't want to reference me but pc gamer instead decided that's okay what we'll do is we'll just put out the great uh, the great gamer gate uh, signal we'll just say richard lewis is an asshole so here it is why counter-strike players think valve is about to announce counter-strike 2 by rich stanton now i've had i've had uh, dialogue with rich stanton i've probably mocked him on a on a podcast or something before but at the end of the day he's old school he's an old school games journalist and you know it, it used to be all right it used to be an all right fucking industry you know it just got c corrupted i wrote to him uh, on, a, on a couple of occasions i don't really have any issues with him but this, but i actually messaged him about this and it was I just thought it was a pretty pathetic and needless snipe. But if you were going to mention my report, you have to include things like this in the mainstream games journalism, right? So here it is. Then there's a report uh, from the journalist Richard Lewis, a figure with a controversial past, but a great track record of esports scoops. I can't corroborate any of Lewis's claims, but here's his full report and take this extract with appropriate caution. So, you know, listen controversial past i don't think i've got a controversial past i mean what's a controversial past for fuck's sake makes me sound like you know i was like <laughs> a criminal or something you know I, we always go over it all of my sins are like just ridiculous they're just ridiculous things like i, I someone tries to attack me i successfully defend myself in the eyes of the police it's self-defense never arrested not a big deal this is an assault this is an aggressive assault i fucking sit on a couch and ask babam to cast this is me bullying someone loads of people claim we've seen footage of me bullying and harassing, harassing him when i'm drunk no one can ever produce a clip it doesn't exist it's just another mass formation psychosis about richard lewis you know it's just like you know, people claim I, I somehow with a much smaller audience was harassing three clicks. I weren't. I didn't make three videos about him. I like literally made a point of saying I think the pandemic broke his brain and never said his name. Didn't even tweet, didn't even subtweet him. Like once I saw that third video, I was like, oh dear. Like actually, okay, my bad. This isn't just like a little back and forth. This is he has fully lost his mind because someone is like just made a joke about him on a podcast you know all right mate yeah you know we all be, we all got a deal with shit we all we all fucking go off the deep end sometimes I'm, i would try to be understanding about it six months later he's tweeting pictures of my face on a flower he's fucking he made a video where he he gender swapped me he made me like he made me a fat chick or something i was like uh, uh, you know uh, I, I like people are people are saying i'm the one harassing him like i don't know like I, I just don't give a fuck i just didn't react to any of it you know just struck me as very strange but whatever like controversial past i do not understand but whatever but then also to say he's got a great track record no 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 no. i don't have a great track record i have a fucking 100 percent track record and you should make that clear you shouldn't be saying take it with appropriate caution there's no appropriate caution i am the truth like if i if i commit to it in paper i have double checked triple checked a hundred checked like it, it it's it, it's as, it's as tight as anything can can fucking be like so i i don't get it like i don't get it at all but it, it i did make it into pc gamer just to show you i'm not even safe richard lewis is a hack and half of his counter-strike history articles are blatant contradictions he lies to his teeth about things and i very much doubt he has any real information on this development like even on pc gamer there's some fucking nut job but also yeah How's my fucking information today, dickhead? So that was that. And then, I did promise you, we can end on a little bit of a funny. Mo obviously chimed in 
good old friend of mine, and he did it. He did a short. So here it is. What the fuck? Counter Strike? You you reading this Richard Lewis thing? Yeah, I'm reading it right now. No, I don't know who he's talking to. Can anyone tell me who this dickhead is? Can anyone tell me who this fucking dickhead is? Who, who he's talking to? Because I'd really like to know, actually. Oh, oh my god. Sources explained that the game was about ready to go and had said that if had even already been tested by an unnamed group of professional players that were flown out to Secret Devolves headquarters in Secret Devolves headquarters in Seattle. Bro, why do I feel like that's fake, man? I mean, I don't know. It says April 1st at the outside. I feel like it's an April Fool's joke in our face. Where? Premeditated. In his thing, he's like, the beta's in the month of March with April 1st at the like people do realize that when march ends april begins you do realize that right like there's no there's no getting away from it it can't be truck lover there's no way i gave him the hong kong moment there's no you gonna you gonna do me like that say it's fucking fake why do i feel like this is fake i don't know maybe you ain't been in the scene long enough and if it's cooper he must feel like a right fucking mug he must feel like a mug if flom's getting a fucking test this shit you must feel like a mug, mate. I wouldn't worry about whether or not my shit's fake, mate. I wouldn't worry about it. Fuck me. Everyone. So, yeah. Just in case. Like, I, I, I hope this fucking actually shows you just how stupid it fucking was. And, like, like I say, I, I, was, I was out there in Malta while all of this was going on. Like, I haven't even bothered, like, screenshotting fucking DMs and just other nonsense. Like... People spamming me for a fucking beta key, like, Jesus Christ, like, I mean, some of these motherfuckers even deleted their fucking accounts, like, it was that bad, like, like, the shit they were fucking hitting me with was so ridiculous. Anyway, like, I was out there in Malta, obviously, when this fucking, you know, was going down, and it was just, like, the, uh, the relief after it came out. And like everybody started acting normal again, but I was still I'm, I was still a little bit fucking pissed off, honestly. But what was abundantly clear was ESL didn't have a fucking clue. Like ESL did not know at all. ESL were fucking caught with their pants down, and like basically just had to pivot and sort of react to it. Um, on the day it got released, I, I got messaged and basically told it's coming down the pipe today, and so I was fucking pumped i was ready i was sat down the bar where every in the hotel where everyone was staying at and um it was it, loads of people were just fucking obviously like well yep it's here it's good no, uh, like i mean uh, I, I think uh, i think i got like somebody pick, picked up their phone and just said look at it and it was like all the videos and all the shit and i was like right fuck it and it's time to go and fucking just sit there and just wallow in my own fucking crapulence it was just absolutely ridiculous and obviously that was when i was tweeting people and just calling everybody dickheads because it was just fucking ridiculous it was so insane so yeah i mean i don't know what to tell you it was absolute some of the most dog shit overreactions ridiculous fucking abuse just for saying a new version of a video game was coming out and loads of people i didn't even tell you like i had chinese skins people messaging me because I got fucking put on Billy Billy. There I am. Richard Lewis. There were Chinese skins people like messaging me in like broken English. It was like, it was fucking ridiculous. Like, it, it was so mental. Like, I cannot even explain to you. So I was just like, well, as soon as this is right. Because it was very, it was tough because I dropped it on the six and we're still waiting three weeks. And each passing day, everyone's getting more and more doubtful about it. And so I was just like, you know what? It better get here soon, because if it's even late by a day, like, if it come out April 2nd, everyone would have fucking been all up in my shit, and I just couldn't be bothered with it. So it was horrible. It was actually horrible. Like, put it this way, it was so bad and so over the top, 100% makes me, like, think twice about ever just doing a story like that about a big games developer. Because, you know, like I say, the difference for me and the difference for all the clout goblins, they just get, they just get to be wrong. They just get to be wrong over and over and over and over again they get to be wrong i i don't even get to be wrong about a minor detail so it's you know fuck them it was just so ridiculous it was so over the top and not fun and you know even the gloating isn't that fun because they're, they're still all out there 
all of those morons we've just looked at, the thousands of morons we've just, they're all real people, they're all out there still being morons, nothing is solved, nothing is changed, and they just get to be wrong, Overdrive will be dropping a new fucking hot story about how Navi definitely had access the whole time, and all the losers that were like saying CS2 isn't coming, now just get to, p get to pivot and make videos about why CS2 is the best thing ever, it, 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 like, it's just seamless, you know? Just fucking seamless. So that's your lot for tonight. Because that was a that was a emotional roller coaster.